Never sucking please no Instagram or watching TV. I think I trade my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for some kitty. Please believe me. I see Riri, I'ma eat it like Panini. I go dumb up in the you know, in, in that song, he's he talks about trading his campaign? breakfast, lunch, and dinner for what I assume is some pussy. And I I want to go out and say I would not trade my breakfast, are, lunch, man. or dinner for some pussy. I would not do that at my all. First year I would if 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 if, if, if the greatest chef in the world would, uh, was about to offer me a full dinner to hey, my chef, taste hope you're having or a nice day smile. I'm concerned. Kate Upton. I don't know. I just, I don't know why I threw that name out. Dude, I had the biggest crush on her when I was like 28. Wanted to fuck me. I'd probably go with the food. I'd probably go with the food because I mean, here, the, re the reality is, Lucky right? 13. You come, I'm you come. Here. Cool you know? Times. What are you guys saying? We know. <laughs> why are you saying we know? You don't turn this into a fat Cook thing. Milkers. It's not a fat thing. It's not a fat episode. Raw hit the walls like graffiti. Indian birds all up on a nigga wee wee. I think I need a full sum. Bella can do GG. It'd be easy if we're easy. Hook it all up on a Lizzie. I go crazy in my Yeezy, Kirk Neezy on a beat. I told him now we finna glow up in the street. Rappers talk subliminal, but they don't talk to me. Put them in the jersey, show a like Polly D. Ride with the mob, hum through our law. Check you and me, and do your job. Herb is the name. Did the chain, turn on for the watch, pussy plain chain, ride with the mob, hum through our law, check you and me, and do your job, nerd is the name, then baller did the chain, turn on for the watch, pussy plain chain, suck a nigga dick or something, suck a nigga dick or something. Let's get it. I bought my 16 passenger. This is G5. I know this not a challenger. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she said she said 3D. I go in the jungle and then got a coat. I bet I come out with a me. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this shit bigger than me. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the fact that we match the pink. I call him twin. Cause that be my brother. We got the same roller. He matching me. For red water, only like the sun. The sun catch some point. There's all these comers. I won't phone from me. Go gunners out the junk. We buy it all. Fuck a front. Fuck nigga. Cake on me. No fun. We can't. Drop top. Feel like stung. Drop top. Can't be play. No run. We gone. Call my wallet. We'll smoke my wallet. We'll take the ride to the trap. Trap it. Nigga want shit. I was outside just serving our cat. Kilo, keep stacking your bank, I'll get bigger. Go. Never would, I throw some shit on my nigga. On tech, little nigga, don't blow with these niggas. No. I see the bitch, bitch, we up on these niggas. Oh. The hunter, the one you gon' call on me, nigga. Yo. I got your back, you gon' follow me, nigga. Wow. When I get up, we gon' ball on these niggas. Wow. Fuckin' shit up, cause we be out the system. Fuck the system. Water on me, like the sun. The sun, carrot, some, point. It's all these commas, I won't fun, fun. Me go gunners out the junk. We buy it all, fuck a front. Fuck nigga, can't gon' me no fun. We can't. Drop top, feel like stung. The mob, hum do our law, check you and me, and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Baller did the chain, turn on for the watch, Prezi plain Jane, Yamagini chain, rest in peace to my superior. Erg man's linger, feed a village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures, causing my hysteria. Mama see me on BT and start tearing up. I'ma start killing niggas, how'd you get that track? I attended Harlem picnics where you risk your life. Uncle used to skim work, selling nicks at night. I was only eight years old, watching Nick at Let's 
get it. I bought for 16 passenger. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat sees they some cannibals. They like to geek, geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. She took a yeah. look. Mr. the wiggle, chill out. Now she says, she's Ride with the mob. I'm going to our law. Check you and me. And do your job. Her is the name. Been ball at the chain. Turn on for the watch. Present plain Jane. Yeah, McGinney Jane. Rest in peace to my superior. Her man's nigga feed a village in Liberia. TMZ's taking pictures cause I'm a hysteria. Mama see me all BT and start tearing up. I'ma start killing niggas. How you get that track? I get in the hall of picnics when you risk your life. Uncle used to skim first. I'm sorry. Whew, you know, they they say, you know, they say, they say, they say, no, never w- no to that. I do not support what that's what is being said right now. That's a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> my my plan originally was to keep looping the songs until somebody said huh. something. And when I first looped it, you guys were like, what? Uh, OK, let's go again. I'm like, oh, no, they I like it too much. That. They're too into it. So then I'm like, alright, what if I just keep cutting the songs off? Wow, I'm like, no, they're still into that! I really am a clown. So then we just double up. I, know I just t- does. turn them both up. Keep going. No, we have a stream to do 25 subs from Dr. Day! Ew, there's a wet stain on my floor. What is that? Wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, 14 Chat, months, we're alone today! So many months. It's a boys' oh, night today! Keep up the upward progress. God, I'm ch- fucking problem. chasing the sub. What is Finally, the dude? Can I, get into the six mouth I gotta hide the, the sub amount before stream starts because I'm just looking dumb every time, bro. I'm chasing. Them Thank down. You for being a it's like trying to hold too many limes up. I'm, I just drop. I'm, I grab one. So I drop two, bro. <sighs> that's a that's a that's Child a walk of shame. Dicks out tonight. No, it's it's not only a boys' night. It's a it's a home alone night. And just so anybody doesn't get any episodes. bright ideas, okay? We're staying strapped. I busted out. Little, my oh. my little fifty seven. Okay. <laughs> All right, last thing you see before you die, right? You know? Poggers! No, we're up. We're up. Booty, Booty is gone. Booty is dead. Booty is dead. What did Peanut just say? My uh-huh. pistol gonna bleed the streets! Thank you, Homo, for the five subs. I'm gonna read Damn. the rest of the name. Homo Scottian. Hell yeah. I wasn't calling someone That's a homo. Always love is that watching. even do we who uses that well, anyway i wasn't also i was just there was his name uh thank you for the five subs appreciate months. you this booty is, is out he's uh, he took a personal day for something he's, he's just having fun whatever okay alex is out i am home motherfucking alone right now dude i am home motherfucking alone matza 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 so what does that mean that means that i could go on a rant and get drunk and do whatever, and no one can knock on my door and go, Wubby, Wubby, you do that anyways? Okay, okay, okay. The San Diego crew broke up with Fame Money Wub. No, they didn't! They'll be back! Aristos, thank you for the 10, bro! Appreciate it. So what are we gonna do tonight? Well, we got, listen, this Friday, we're doing a cooking stream, which I'm very excited for. We're doing a Mexico. Off screen review. Wait, 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 wait. Off sc- what did you say? Off screen review of subreddit. Wait, wait. Off screen subreddit based hentai review. Deal. Someone submit hentai on the subreddit and I will review it. Deal. Deal. See, who's going to stop me? You know? Uh, Mexico Sunday stream? No, Mexico Friday stream. We're doing a Mexican cook off. Uh, and we're all. Uh, people keep asking about the May calendar. We are going to be working. We're supposed to work on it today, but Booty is out, which is my fault because I put it on today. So we're going to do it tomorrow. So uh, TV's going to be mad. That's fine. Hey, Wubby, I just got a haircut. S- Sid not so vicious is not even a sub, and he just added me to say, hey, Wubby, I got a haircut. My brother, listen. Okay, here's what we're going to need you to do. You have exactly two minutes. I'm not exaggerating. You have two minutes to post a photo of your haircut on the subreddit or you are getting banned. You do not come to the stream, okay? If you're gonna pause everything for your haircut, you better show the haircut and we're gonna review it. And Didn't ask. if it's not good, you're getting banned. This shit better blow my socks off, dude. I got a haircut too. Guys, like, I, 
Who, what is... I'm not your fucking grandma, dude. I don't think I could... Getting a haircut is so mundane. It's the... Is that news to some of you? Uh, yeah, please post. You, you You have two minutes to post your haircut on the subreddit with proof of who you are. Uh, no, I'm not your grandma. D despite the violent stinky fingering. My dick fell off. I used to be scared of that when I was a kid. Did I tell you guys that? I think I've told you that with a schmegma head. Subreddit about to be hentai and haircuts. Oh, no. Ah. Uh! Oh man! Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Well, at least Aristos gifted ten subs. Thank you, Aristos. Ah, daddy, no! I mean, I mean, daddy. I mean, give hubby. us a desk pop. I mean, All right, deal. I'm kidding. I legit. I, I know it seems like a guns. joke, but I, I, when I'm totally home alone code? like this, something I like a, I like something mermaid. being near me. Name I don't know. It reset. just makes me feel better. Push the button, Wubby. <laughs> We're still on Farty Wizard! Thank you for the months. 10! Ah, same. Thank you. When? Mediocre. Mm. Please go. I have a few near me too. Yup. Yup. Bro, you're paranoid what? I mean, shouldn't I be? Casey, now you got me fucked up. Now you got me overthinking. Alright, I'm going to the subreddit. We have stuff to do tonight! Tonight, Hello, boys! Dennis. I want this you to kick off your calling. shoes. We okay, I want you to kick off your socks. You I want you to take your phone out. We're just chilling. Take call your call phone out. You Go can. to your camera Michael app. 13. I just want you to take a photo Come of here, your often. feet. We're just chilling. Arms back, feet up. I want you to just curl your toes and take a photo. Guys, tonight is about chilling. Re like just, we're going to react to things. We're going to play a game. I'm going to be talking to you guys mostly. Just take the photo and put it on the subreddit. You know, show me that we're chilling. We're having a good time. I don't know how to get in touch with you. I'm terrified. That man in the screen is not my son. We haven't seen. I didn't even skip that. It just, it just bailed. Not my son. Thank you, Kitty Kitty Twenty One, for the five subs. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Uh, well, time to nuke the subreddit. Has it already started? No, but tonight uh, uh, I am alone. Um, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna go back to our roots tonight. It's gonna be a fun night. I think we got some stuff to talk about, some stuff to watch, and then we got some games to play. Dude, okay, I wrote this down because it popped up on my phone. I get notifications. I don't know how YouTube determines it, but I get notifications pushed through to my phone when I get comments on my main YouTube channel. But not all comments. You just suck. Randomly, I'll get uh, comments. Thank you, uh, Owazis. Thank you for the five subs, bro. Uh, so sometimes it'll push through to my and I'm like, why is it showing me this? But I'll read it because I'm curious. And one of the most common comments I'm getting on my YouTube channel like the old videos people think i'm dead there are people i guess it's because my old youtube has such a wide reach you know not everyone's gonna but I, I, there was a comment i got the other day that was like i swear to god it was like wubby if you're seeing this please just let us know you're okay like there are people who care about you there are people who watch you please just let us know that you're alive even I, 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 doesn't that blow your guys' mind? I've like made it such a career beyond YouTube at this point. I mean, more than I could have ever imagined. Uh, uh, poof, poof, oh, 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 that's the ticket. Oh, 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 uh, 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 fuck, uh, fuck, ooh. <clears throat> anyway, the, the Wubby, wake up, you're dead. It just, I, I, I don't expect anything. I know YouTube is such a, such a wider reach and it's millions versus thousands, so not everyone's gonna make the jump. But like, it does, why is everyone saying choo-choo? What's going on in this chat? Am I the streamer? <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you choo-chooing? There's not even, there's no, what is even happening? <laughs> there's not even a sub train, dude. But no, what do you mean? Where are the subs? It's just the train. <laughs> All right. Chat, all right. that is not my son. We haven't seen him in seven years after the accident happened. I don't know what is going on here, but this isn't funny. Please stop pretending to be my son. Uh-huh. Choo-choo, here okay. comes the train. OMG, okay. my son is such a greedy Chago. Oh, Chagoy. I'm a greedy Chago. Oh, okay. I'm a fish. Whiff waff. Thank you for the five. There's the train. Um, I posted my feet on the subreddit. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Let me tell, let me tell. Oh, 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 let, all right. I got several hairs cut, but it's growing on me. 
Oh, stop. Thank you, uh, 1024 for the five subs. All right. Whoa, that's hentai. Whoa. Wow. The subreddit is, dude, TT's going to be so pissed. Oh, my God. Steve Hot. Thank you for the five. You should go live on your YouTube main channel and pretend that you were dealing with health problems. Oh, my God. Chat, do you guys want to do that and just bait? Wait a minute. That's such a good idea. <laughs> Just go live on my main YouTube and be like, hey, guys, I've been dealing... No, see, I think people might get offended. What's, like, a non-offensive serious illness? Because, like, my brain immediately went to cancer, but then we're going to have all the chemo boys coming out being like, this is not a joke. Glaucoma? That's a good one. I, hey, Wubby, yes. I have a great idea of what you can cook for the cooking stream. Look up yeah. off-cut meatballs. Off-cut meatballs. it's me, you. If you can hear this, it's time to wake up. You have to wake up. Just wake up. Um... Been subbed for 43 times. Alright, I'm on the subreddit. I don't even know what to say about this. This is just, dude, that is a huge penis. Am Guys, I we gotta stop. Right? I broke the subreddit. <laughs> oh boy. A lot of hairy feet, a lot of hentai. This dude's okay, this one's bad. This dude's whole room Hi. is hentai and his feet are in the photo. That's rough. Okay. Alright. We're doing it. All right. I My can't streamer. stop looking. I keep saying I'll stop looking, but I can't stop. What the fuck is this, so bro? If you do any shits, please turn the record around as you're walking in the bathroom. Let me hear you. It's me. You know, do everything. Put the toilet what? seat down and buckle your pants on a sit down to a good stream of pee the water. You guys mind if I praise the Lord? Dump, and after you got done going to the bathroom, describe what's pop. in the toilet. What are you saying? What are you doing? TT has gone out of control. Okay. True, bro. All right. Um, Four months, Babby. Thank you. Hey, Thank Wubby, you just months. wanted to say the mustache is looking great. As another ginger with a stash, I'm always glad to see another man with a red rocket on his face. <laughs> Can I tell you guys, I'm repulsed by redheaded people. We talked two streams ago <laughs> about eating pussy and not eating pussy, but I forgot to ask, what about Dude. eating that boo? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, people saying same, go fuck yourself. I think that redheaded people either look super hot or they look fucking vile and, and unreal. And I, 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 I'll be, listen. <laughs> TTS is only $5, by Breaks the way. failed and you're okay. TTS is going to be uh, off until we start playing the game and then I'll leave it at $5. Okay. Cause it'll work great for the game we're playing, but for now I got to talk. Well, this one hurts. Why? Let me, I, 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 okay. Let me give you an example of, of redhead. Okay. So the new Jedi game. The main character is like red haired and he just drives me crazy. I hate the way he looks. It, his it's it's he's just weird and distracting and I and I he's hot. Bro, I hate it and I have red hair. I no spoilers. Bro, I've never even played it. It's a real person. <laughs> well, he should really stop. He's so hot. What do you mean? Oh my God. This is actually so inspiring to me. So what do you guys, what does that mean about me? Oasis. Thank you for the five. I think I said your name right that time. Isn't he like the special needs kid from that one movie? Kyle Cletus. Bro, ain't no way your last name is Cletus, bro. Red haired girls are hot. Uh, uh, redhead dudes are ick. You realize you're saying that to me. Like that's really mean to say. I think that here's the thing, right? Redheaded girls are usually good looking. Redheaded guys are usually not good looking. I think that I am the exception to the rule. <laughs> Seen a lot of not agreeing with me. Okay, here's the actual guy, by the way, apparently. Te or Peanut just linked me something. Here he is. Actual guy. Let's see if he looks as weird in real life. Nah, yeah, he's weird looking. <laughs> Remember, just feel it. <sighs> All right. No, wait, he's attractive. No, 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 he's hot. No, he's hot. The mogul No, he's hot. He's hot. He looks, he looks good. No, he looks good. He looks bad in the game. He looks good. He looks good. I, I literally, I'm literally taking it back right now. He's hot. Scared. He falls into the Show hot category. Focus. God damn it. Good. But you know what, though? Oh, man, he's hot. Chat, what am I? Oh God, he's hot. <sighs> Not playing baseball. Right. You will take me to the. Oh my God, he's so cute. What the hell? Sorry, Wubby. Oh no, why does everyone apologizing to me for? 
senator now. Well, take me to the senator You're now. Less risk. Oh my god, he's gorgeous! What was I thinking, dude? What the fuck? Bro, I'm literally crumbling right now live. Mark, you know I don't actually have the force, right? Well, he looks weird as fuck in the game. Does Wubby have a crush on this guy? You're gonna tell me this guy isn't really handsome? Are you kidding me? Oh God, is that me? Oh, geez. one says no excuses. Hold it. You get two lightsabers? Well, technically one, but I can split them. Are you guys claiming that, I saw people saying bulge question mark. Are you, are you saying that? Okay, listen, listen. T too many of you guys okay listen all right I, you guys some of y'all watching too much pornography are you saying he's got a huge bulge i saw someone saying bulge question mark and i'm uh, i'm trying to defend my guy here i'm trying to defend my guy here put a face put your face on the robot never can you guys make up your mind if he's got a big cock or not you gave me two lightsabers dude he's got a big cock he was on shameless well, I know where we're going tonight. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Cameron Monaghan Penis? How do you look up someone's nudes? Cameron Monaghan's penis. Images? Oh, God! Is that him? Oh! Wait, I want to see his penis. He's, he's, he was, he's, was he gay in the show? <laughs> oh, he was. Oh my God. Or was he? <laughs> His penis is not very visible, you guys. Here, I'm zooming in for myself here. Let me see. I'm really looking at it. Is he gay in real life? I can't tell if that's his penis. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, but man's got a dick. Man's got a normal. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are, are tripping. Man's got a penis. Like 80% of Hollywood dicks are prosthetics, by the way. Really? <laughs> really? Really? That's frustrating. The amount of hours I've spent crying over this exact thing. Really? Eight Mick Heehaw, thank you for the... Uh... Thank you for the five. 80%, huh? Do you have proof of that? I got to make sure I close out all these tabs. By the way, when you type in this dude's penis on Google, one of the first things you're going to see is like an animated version of him with, I mean, like a just a fucking Pringles can, bro. I mean, it's violent. And that's one of my initial reaction. I was like, oh my God, that's his penis. I saw that. One in five chance that it was a real schlong. That's not good odds. I feel like that's harmful, actually. Two Willem Dafoe does have a big boys. dick. Love you, love yeah, but I mean, I feel like, I, yeah, I, th I, I could have told you that just from looking at him. He looks like a, like, we I'm sorry, I love Willem Dafoe, one of the most talented actors. He's so gross looking, I feel like he has a baby arm for a penis. Like his penis has a bicep, you know? Someone just said in chat, Willem Dafoe has a psycho dick. Cheese, and I, cheese, that's cheese, exactly cheese, what I'm talking cheese, about. Cheese and beans, whoa. Love Human you, goblin dick, exactly. Look this up John Ham's penis. Guys, this is Kissing. not what stream is, but it's boys night. I don't want to do seven. gay shit all night. John Ham. More penis. primers. Let's see what we got here. Glad John is gone. John Ham's penis. D bro, what in God's month, name is that? Much love from your tequila drinking buddy in Michigan. Bro, dude, this he, this Big man tea. is disgusting. You gotta love him. Does he not wear briefs? Has he ever worn months. underwear? What? I, Jesus Christ, bro! I'm actually mortified over this. Love you, Pop the Wubs. Can't believe it's been a year already. You think Peter Dinklage got a huge dick? Do you think it's or do you think it scales? <laughs> John Hamm addresses the penis thing. Yeah. The no underwear rumor. What's it? Okay, well now what does he have to say about it? I mean, I'm here. John Hamm addresses the rumor that he prefers to go commando. Okay. I don't think this is TOS to show because when for all we know, he could be end. smuggling an eggplant in his pants. And I don't think that this is TOS. Deal. This is one of the images I'm nice looking at smile. here. 
Peach Perfect, thank you for the five. I appreciate you. Do not show it. Okay, well. Ping pong. Waiting on my kiss. There's no way that's real. I mean, the thing, here's the thing, right? There, there, you got to think of the bell curve, right? Someone out there got to be at the end of the bell curve. Somebody out there got to be at the end of the bell curve with a huge soft penis. Someone's got to be. Maybe. Wait a minute. Willem Dafoe needed a penis double? One year, let's go. Uh oh. Willem, it's Willem Dafoe's fake penis? The difference between a lentil and a chickpea is I never a lentil on my Willem face. Willem Dafoe had a... F why the vibe, why the vibe, why the vibe, why Willem Dafoe is undoubtedly one of the most talented, vibe, versatile vibe, actors of its time. Vibe, why divide, why divide, Delivered powerful divide, performances. I don't care! Willem Dafoe's most iconic performance came in blah, 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 psychological horror, The Anarchist. They're all, okay. As the days passed, yeah. the man Dafoe experienced bizarre... Okay, fucking come on! Hell? Um... Wow. Where's the... Where... Okay, okay, uh... Uh, uh... Willem Dafoe actually needed a double for his sex scenes because his penis was so large, everyone was distracted. That's okay. six months of my life. All right, all right, listen. All right, here's the reality here, is not guys. fat. Listen, penis listen. Is healthy. Listen, listen. When I when I ultimately make a movie and become very famous, we're gonna we're gonna spread so many lies about me too. We actually had uh, Wubby was gonna do a jumping jack scene, but we couldn't uh, because his penis kept hitting him in the face. So we had to rewrite the whole scene. There was actually a scene too where. Uh, he was supposed to have sex. Uh, we were going to do unsimulated sex. So like real sex for the movie. It was something we all agreed to. And the whole thing was the woman was supposed to not enjoy it. But we kept bringing in new actresses. We even brought in a gay woman at one point. And they all just kept coming. And it, unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to actually swap the whole movie around. Um, because his penis was just so... Someone just said too far? What do you mean? Someone just said you were filming a... Okay, I'm not even finished reading that. You guys, you know, you're fun suckers. You know that? You guys are fun suckers. You know that? You're, you, you, you suck the fun. Okay, I'm just making a joke here. All right? Then you will need NDAs for whoever actually sees it, though. Oh, the, there's no movie. This is me just spewing fake articles out. The movie would have never even existed. Lots of feet and hentai on the subreddit. Oh, no! Oasis, thank you for the five additional su Oh, no! There's so much hentai and feet on the subreddit. Oh. Thank God Wubby is a steamer and not a DJ. Poopy. Look up locker room scene from basket basketball? Basketball? Almost a year. Guys, the content can't just keep happening off screen tonight. How this is the last one I'm looking poop? up. Locker room scene basketball. It's on YouTube. How bad could it be? Aristos, thank you for the 10. What the fuck? And long pee pee. Thank you for the five. <laughs> It's it's TOS. Okay, I'm gonna Smash. look it up. Thank you guys for the subs. Appreciate it. I take the subs Eight as a well, but you can continue Flex looking at these dicks Twitter on your other monitor. Sheesh. What's your take on this stunning upset? But I think the whole kid Love your wubby. Is this appropriate to even be playing on the other monitor? I know you will open a night soon. Leave this Happy guy. He didn't psych me out. Yeah, you. Yeah, you get the psych out. It should be dense low. No, don't even play this. Dude, we. Oh, Coop, Coop. I'm just watching I, I know it. this is a dark time for you, but I'd like to get your thoughts on what happened today. Well, Tim, today I lost the big game and uh, a dear friend. Um, I'm feeling pretty What vulnerable. is this? Is the wrong scene? How do you even know? I'm not even showing it to you. <laughs> okay, whatever. If you want me to watch the scene, put it on the subreddit. That's all I'll say. Bel Belbo Boggins. Thank you for the five, bro. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's called Audio Wubby. Wubby, I just burned myself. Anyways, thanks for the content. Woo. Uh, bro, opening with floodgates on the sub tonight. Bro, I get one night to myself, okay? And on Friday, I'm not even gonna be my at my desk. So let me have my fun. Willem Dafoe's dick is on the subreddit. <laughs> oh, that thing is... Man, It is. he does have a goblin baby. penis. He's a weird looking guy, isn't he? You know what's crazy is he's butt naked dancing his soft penis Eight around and I'm more distracted by his face. What God, he's a strange looking man, huh? Let's go find reminds me, He reminds me of Wubby. Booty. Honestly, yeah, I agree. What gamer subs flavor is that, Wubby? This is the new one, the red, uh, red Raz. Is that what it's called? 
Red hmm. raspberry. Yup. It's new. <sighs> All right. I'm going to Scotland on Monday. Pray for me. Is that right? Boys home alone night. So I have a story for you guys from uh, last night. I went, I went uh, to a place downtown. <clears throat> Do you guys want a story? Actual foot model on the subreddit? Pause the stream. Hold on. There's an actual foot model on the subreddit. I want to see this. I want to know what sets apart a normal foot from a paid foot. I'm looking for it too. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? I'm, I'm, I'm swimming through a sea of hentai. Oh, I found it. Here it is, boys. Look. Okay, let's let's review this together. So let's think here. Oh, <laughs> I'm still looking for it though. Actually, where is it? I don't see anything. For uh, there's Willem Dafoe's penis. Uh. Oh Jesus. I, I I'm pretty sure I'm being lied to. I don't see anything on the subreddit. I see dog toes. There's a lot of people with red hair in this community. That's crazy. I wonder if I, like, attract you guys. Oh. My. God. Alright. I'm gonna ruin everybody's fun. I'm gonna ruin every- We gotta- I have so much to do tonight, and we're wasting so much time. But whatever. We're gonna do this. Um. <clears throat> this is vile. And I hate knowing that there's people sitting here watching- Stream like this. Oh, I'm scanning real quick to make sure there's no like hidden dicks on this guy's screen. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look. See at this, huh? That's true. <sighs> I'm gonna zoom into the toes and and yeah, I know, boys. I oh <gasps> oh bro, it like how do you, oh god, is there a okay? Is that a single Cheeto on one of the light dimmer things? Oh my god, the Crown Royal Vanilla, nearly empty. I'm really gonna analyze. <laughs> Sorry, you're eating. Why would you eat during my stream? Let's look at your tabs. Watch Dungeon. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. Does it say Harry Potter? That just says Harry Potter One. I don't know what that is. Reddit. Okay. He has the Euphoria soundtrack. Here we have some Discord. Is, whose Discord is this? That's not my Discord. God's anal only. All right. <laughs> what? Are, wait, hold on. Are you eating rice out of like one of those military MRE fucking things? War is over, bro. Wait, it's a, oh, it's a oh, it's the rice cooker itself. Oh, oh, it's the oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's how you know this man is single and living alone. He brings the whole pot in. Oh, that's degenerate. And <laughs> let's continue. Let's go around the room here. Oh, a little Cabernet Sauvignon. Also, I will, I'm going to say something that this is just an opinion. You guys could disagree with me. This Dr. Pepper Zero Cherry Cream and this Dr. Pepper Zero Cream Soda are two of the most disgusting sodas on the market right now. Just saying. They're fucking gross. Just saying. They're like literally my dad has brought them to me. He pawned them off to me because he didn't want them. And they sat in this house for like six months because nobody wanted them. Incorrect, wrong, and false. All right, dude. This can be your guy then. You know what? Go ahead. Rep for this guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rep for this guy then, chat. Yeah, you're right. I'll take. All right. Here's your man then. Here he is. Okay. We have a multivitamin. That doesn't get a lot of use. A mystery bag of possibly mold. God, this is so gross. I'm so, I'm sorry to be mean, but like, I'm really not. Also, I will say there is something I relate with here. <laughs> this like mystery pile of junk mail, bills, newspaper garbage is the most relatable. Is that a straw? Dude, I, I basically don't get mail. I don't. I, I, is that cum? I don't do mail. I, it's it's like, I know this might be so, and maybe, listen, first off, how do I, how do I say this without like incriminating myself? Mail is just super frustrating and is the word antiquated, am I using that word properly here? It's just, it's so He's dated and shitty and I hate it and I it's like, good enough, thank you. Yes, good. 
And like what sucks is since becoming a homeowner, I just get so much spam and like, it should be, okay. The amount of shit that is disguised as a super aggressive bill should be illegal, bro. You know how many times I'll get a letter and I'm looking at it and I'm I'm looking at it, I'm anxious. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? First off, I have major mail anxiety. I put my mail on my counter and I don't touch it for weeks. And then finally I'm like, okay, I need to tackle the mail pile. I'll go to the mail and I'll want to get through it as quickly as possible. And it's like, you get like yellow envelope, urgent, emergent, like respond or you're fucking dead or we're gonna fucking kill you. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I quickly open it and it's like, my brother, in are you looking for a new fridge? Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, here's my number. I, I like genuinely think it should be illegal. Not to mention, those are like the positive ones. Sometimes there's some that I'm like, this has to be a scam. You're pre-approved, my brother. Exactly, right? It's like, you need to open this right now. This is so urgent. And it's just a little like fake plastic credit card from a company you've never heard of. My brother, we got $2,000 on a line of credit. Just say the word. I'm like, how do you even know me? Why? Immediate action required. Yup. I'm so glad I'm not the only... Dude, I, I don't talk about this with my friends. I don't know why. I thought I was the only one that had like mad male anxiety. There's a, there's a scene in a, one of those shows Ryan Dunn did where he was... I, I, maybe it was Cribs. I think it was Cribs where he goes to his pool table and he goes like, this is my pool, this is my mail pool table. So basically I take my mail and I throw it here until like collection shows up. And I'm like, holy fuck, that's so relatable. I cannot, I don't have any anxiety, but I hate snail mail. Oh, look at this guy with a properly functioning brain, ooh. Do you ever get those uh, inviting you to a local church? No. Belbo Boggins, did I already thank you? Love you I just saw it, I think I already did. Church ads LFG. that send greeting cards? No, what? What? Congrats Fuck on the, the mail, stop lobby. sending me a fucking chore. That's what I'm saying, bro. Check on Not to mention, dog. why are there government Genuinely things that require you, you to pay? Do, I, I've Keep owed money to different government or important things, and they're like, you need to send a check. And I'm like, I don't even have checks. You're now taking something that I could transfer instantly to now I guess I, guess I have to go to the bank? Like, like what we're, I don't even understand. Like, Oh my God. I've had people be like, you, sorry, we only accept checks. I'm, how can you tell me? How can you tell me how to pay you? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I'm drunk, baby girl. Okay. Okay. All right. Hands off the keyboard then. All right. You get a free stream tonight. I get handwritten church ads. Okay. That's kind of cute. Go to the IRS, go pay the IRS at Apple gift cards. Okay. That's not what I meant. I can't be like, oh yeah, you want you want your money? Here's your fucking V-Bucks. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if I'm sending you American Dolores, all right, you shouldn't be able to say like, sorry, we only accept check. check. Also, check is so... Guys, I'm going to use a word here again. Check is so antiquated. It's so... It's... Oh, it's just, oh God. And this has to be something I'm not the only one dealing with. It's a nightmare! <laughs> Vocabulary, baby. Dude. I love the people in chat pogging words. Yes, dude. I'm 27 and I don't have checks. Wait, 27 and don't have a checkbook. Is that bad? I'll speak for myself. We're close in age. I do not have a checkbook. I do not have one. Like, am I on, is that, what about you guys, chat? We'll do word of the day. 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 I've had to ask my dad. Like literally, I've had to ask my dad. 39 and I don't have a checkbook to be completely honest with you like why do you need one even when I was working at a grocery store and that was oh god I don't want to say it that was like 12 years ago <laughs> that was like 11 years ago even working oh my god ah! even when I was working at a grocery store and this was a, over a decade ago at this point even then when I got trained I remember they would say you need to know how to accept checks when people pay with checks because old people will sometimes come in and pay with checks and it's annoying and it's slow, but you need to know how to deal with it. And it's this whole process, right? That was 10 years ago. Those people are fucking dying off, bro. No, ain't nobody pay. Grandmas would come in with like $76 of groceries and they would write a motherfucking check, bro. It's insane. <laughs> My mom still does it. Killer. Killer.
No, we gotta make we gotta speed this up. Sorry. Killer. It's that easy. Thank you, body, for the five. Uh rarely use them, but reference them for a direct deposit. Okay. Um I've had to do like a cashier's check for like large purchases. That is more understandable. But that's special case, right? A cashier's check is your bank is directly involved. That's different. I can under cashier's check, I can understand the need for them still. Uh, it's bank. It's like your bank is saying, we got this. I have to pay rent with a check. That's, that's so terrible, bro. <sighs> My bank will send them to me for online. Home purchases. I mean, I can, I can defend large once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime purchases being check. We have checks for our joint accounts for stuff like the house. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. We've been trying to reach you about your cars. Okay, we gotta stop talking about this shit. I can't believe it's already <sighs> been six months. Bottom left, what? Oh, we hit the goal! Yes, Chad, yes! Yes! One day it will be 19 years. Pay 54 months. Chemical Muse. I'm in your walls Fuck and I'm yes, your dude. Your hot Bro's hand. turning blue. Can I be the fart cake? Jewel fast. All right. I have a story about an autistic person. Neil Breen. There it is. <laughs> How do I get into the Discord? Uh, Less than and now, now, I want everybody to take a second here. Comedy test, comedy chops test, okay? If you said you, question mark, you might be not funny. Just saying, just saying. The amount of people that just said you, question mark, a lot of, all I'm saying is a lot of people said it. A lot of people said it. Chat's funnier than you. Yeah, but like, it's not fair competition. I think that when you put Thousands of people in a room, they're going to be funnier than me, right? But if I, in fact, I can prove this. When I pluck one of you to come on stream, okay? It, I mean, you, it's low functioning, low functioning. When you guys come together, you become this weird, like, syndromed mind that works together. And I grab one of you and you're on the call. Hey, well, no, no, I, 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 I actually, I agreed with you the whole time. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, but see, now what I'm doing, though, there are people in chat going, no, 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 it's because you didn't pick me. You chat, you're not understanding. We don't pick people randomly. Every person I brought on stream has begged to come on stream. You guys are all saying, Wubby, Wubby, it's because you don't pick me. Yes, we do, though. You're not listening, bro. Every person that's been on stream is spamming. Put me on, put me on, put me on. So, okay, come on. And then they <sighs> get me on a call every time. How quickly you guys forget. How quickly you forget. Um, it's because we have anxiety. Well, what about earlier chat? You said you don't Argument equals comedy skill to you <laughs> Dude, you're overthinking this. I'm just gaslighting you. Who cares? All right, Kyle Marks. Thank you for the five, bro I appreciate Love you. you. Thank you uh, Let me tell you the story. So I was downtown looking for a place to That's park so my car, which is already a nightmare Love I hate it. driving downtown. I hate it's it. Oh my god part and especially you want to hear a, 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 no, this isn't a rich person problem. It's, this is an SUV problem. I happen to have a BMW SUV. Okay. And every time I go downtown, I'm like, my car doesn't fit in these fucking spots. There's just not enough room. It's, it, I, there's nothing I can do about it. It's frustrating. It is what it is, whatever. So I find a parking garage to park <laughs> and, uh, go get my tag going, whatever. On the way out, I'm leaving. Here's a story. There's my story on the way out. <laughs> I pull up, there's a parking attendant standing, kind of leaned over in his little glass box, and I'm standing there and I have my ticket. <clears throat> he grabs my ticket and then turns, he's, he's like facing sideways to me and he's leaned down, he's like writing shit down. And he goes, all right, how many people in your party? And I'm like, uh, w w one in the car, uh, one. And he goes, okay, uh, all right. And, and, and where is it you're headed? And I'm like, uh, by the way, I'm not exaggerating. He's like screaming it at me. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm going home. I'm like, I'm leaving downtown. And then <laughs> silence, nothing. He's just writing stuff down. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, I can see the sign. It's like 20 bucks. 
Nothing's happening. I don't know what's going on. Okay, turn it, stand, da -da -da. just sitting there writing stuff. Turns the other way, just writing shit down. And I'm, a, I'm like getting annoyed. Minutes pass. I'm just, I'm like, what is taking so long? I handed him my ticket. I see the price. Normally you just hand him a 20 or whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> that dude did not work there. Wait, wait, I'm not done yet. So <laughs> about five minutes pass. Nothing to, to say anything. <laughs> I'm just stare. I'm making eye contact the entire time because I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> five minutes, right? Five whole minutes, yes. <laughs> and then I hear, all right, okay, bye-bye. And he hangs up the phone. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> First, now I'm a little embarrassed. I bring myself back down. I'm like, oh, he was on the phone. Okay. Okay. So then, so it was you. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I... Keep in mind, I know nothing about this guy. We've exchanged like two words through glass, right? So then he turns to me and he goes, and I'm, I'm doing a voice here not to make fun of him. I'm going to show you how this guy talked. He turns to me because I was a little weirded out why he's asking where I was going and what like part, how many in my party. I was very confused by that. So then I'm like, oh, he was talking to the guy on the phone. Okay, I understand. And then he goes, I'm going to say this. And I'm not, I'm not being mean. It's just how he sounded. He goes, all right, sir, I'll be with you in one minute. So I'm like, okay. Okay, so this, he's a, I think he's a, he might be a little slow. He's a little slow gentleman. And that's okay. I have no problem. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. <clears throat> okay, no problem. So, again, I'm more patient now. I know he already had me wait five minutes, but I can understand. He probably couldn't do two things at once and and was got hyper fixated on the phone and he did his thing okay so now he has my ticket still and he goes over to his computer and i'm watching oh my god and i, I guess i want to know if i'm the asshole or at least i want to know maybe maybe i want to talk to you guys and possibly get some level of understanding here okay why am i already the asshole so i'm watching him again the price is posted on the thing it's going to be twenty dollars it is going to be $20. The price is, po oh, by the way, also really expensive. I was a little bit annoyed, but what, I'm not going to argue. I parked my car there, right? So he's, I'm watching him on his computer. He has my tag now, and he's just one key at a time, painstakingly punching in this like barcode. I'm just like, oh my God, like this is, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, it's fine. He's, he's, a, he's whatever. Okay. He punches it all in. Then he sets it down. And he stands there and he is just thousand yards staring past the computer into the street. I will show you exactly what this looked like. Okay. POV. You are the computer. He's punching the numbers into. Okay. Seven. Okay. Four. Now at this point, I will say. I have recognized that I think possibly this guy might have uh, something. So I'm never, I would never be mean to someone like that. And then I, <laughs> I even notice there's a sign that I think was carefully trying to say, be patient, but it didn't outright say it. Let me explain. The sign said, Hey, we are understaffed. Please be kind to all of our staff as they are working harder than they would normally have to. And I'm like, that's a nice way of saying that our staff is slow. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be patient. I timed it. Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I'm an asshole. You can call me an asshole. I, but you know what? I timed it. Okay. Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe, maybe I'm an asshole. Okay. No, no, it's not. No, no, no. No, no, no. And I, okay. Just under. Just on. Why is everyone saying I'm the asshole? Just under four minutes. Okay. Three minutes. 51 seconds of both of us sitting there in silence, him staring, nothing happening, nothing going on. A couple of times he looks over, a couple of times he checks his phone and this, this device that he has, I think it's for like card something, okay? I say nothing and then he goes, oh, and he presses a button and goes, that'll be $23.
And I want to be clear, guys. If this person hadn't already communicated to me and I noticed he, maybe something was a little off, I would have gone in on him. Like, what the fuck, dude? But I didn't, and I was nice. And more importantly, I was sitting there going, this is going to be a stream story. I'm going to be the hero. <laughs> Realizing that's not how it's landing. Right? Okay, okay. So what you guys just said is exactly what I was saying. I'm like, where did that $3 come from? Is he scraping off the top? Right? Like, is, is, is he going... It's chat. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, right? It was a $20 bill and I had to pay $23 for it. That's a BMW tax. No, dude. So I guess, I guess there's no way I could be the asshole. Maybe me. I got to turn on my AC. I'm sweating. Maybe, maybe me timing it is, the, is me being an asshole. Maybe. But as far as that guy knows, unless he's a stream watcher, as far as that guy knows, I was just a friendly customer who was very patient. In fact, he probably doesn't even know that. He for sure is hourly. <laughs> okay, I'm cranking that AC. Typical Wubby viewer. Why are you sweating? Because this room gets hot. Do you know what? You know anything about studio lights, brother? <laughs> Rich people do be yapping. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know he was there. Was there anyone behind you? Nope. Nope. This was a downtown Tuesday night. As you can imagine, it was dead which is why i was also like why why is, why is it 20 dollars for this shit like what but what am i gonna do what am i gonna do? why studio lights i don't actually have studio lights they're just bright they're hot lights are hot this room gets hot too my computer i don't know if anybody else has this problem my computer heats up my whole room maybe that's not as common as i think my computer heats up my entire room also by the way believe it or not the only bit of my body that is exposed are my fingies and my face so yeah things get a little heated up in here bro it's just you thank you crimson new time thank you for the five bro appreciate that and my toesies all right you little creeps all right you little creeps i also went to a i went to a bar last night called it was like a like restaurant bar it was like it had a carousel in it don't go there i love you don't go there i don't think anyone's even gonna go there it was called like uh uh, uh someone's got a note in chat cheesy godzilla guy. he still gets hair stand up his mom. why the eagle uh wolfies that's it Only two more till four yeah it wasn't great it's not the eagle it's not the eagle thank you again cheesy godzilla <laughs> carousel bar yep Wubby. yep it wasn't great don't go there the food wasn't good i dyed my hair purple wolfies is an l it kind of was it kind of was Benny. it kind of was all right watching on the one from fear and loathing wait what they go to that in fear and loathing what We'll be out cruising in Hillcrest. I'm not. Bro, have you guys seen buy porn before? <laughs> have you guys seen like like where a couple brings a dude into the porn and they both suck his dick? Twenty-eight years it took me. 28 years gushing granny 420 bro thank you for the five subs a lot of question marks but you know what i bet a lot of fast moving fingers right now that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say how did you find it uh i was looking up big buff black dudes in my area okay what do you mean how did i find it how else do you find anything bro Extrusive. Thank you for the five, bro. Thank you, bro. True, because all grandmas be fingering. The all right. Um. Oh, someone posted this on the subreddit, so I'm, I, I can talk about it now. Uh, on Monday, we did another America's Card Room poker stream, which is basically just turned into a podcast. It's fun. If you guys want to join, we have another one next week. Uh, but I also announced something then that I will now announce to the rest of you. Because they get to hear it early. But uh, originally, my gamer subs flavor was to, uh, to be released uh, on June 9th. But we have moved that date. And my gamer subs flavor, ladies and gentlemen, will be released uh, Friday, May 12th. And that is in nine days, I believe. Nine days, my Gamer Subs flavor 
will be moved or will be released. Uh, and uh, you know what? Can I see the name of it? Maybe I can release the. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna hit up my guys. Can I leak anything about my? Not my real voice. Can I leak anything about my flavor right now as a teaser? Let's see what they say. I'm gonna ask them, and we'll see if they get back to me. Risky click. The thumbnail is a penis. What is this? Okay, Peanut, you're sending me something to watch on stream. And you're saying risky click. Maybe you click it first? What? what? Hold on, this actually is interesting, though, if we can watch it. Peanut, can I watch this on stream? I'm going to ask him. Can I watch this on stream? This isn't NSFW. Guys, this is a sausage, right? This is not a penis. The penis in the thumbnail is also we in the were it's kind of blurred. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me scrub this. I'm oh my god. Slightly known as the penis guy for because I can show this. I can show this. All right, chat. Look at this. Look at this. Peanut has penis. We peanut. Peanut has penis proof. Peanut made a claim that 80% of penises in Hollywood movies are actually fake. Um, they're prosthetics, which is crazy to me. And here is his penis proof. And if we get banned for this, we can all blame Peanut's penis video. All right, here we go. This is the, this is the Hollywood penis guy. We were doing the prosthetics for Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. And they wanted a penis that was extremely small, but had a lot of hair. I would I would have done it for cheaper. Just bring me on. Like, like, dude, I got, I'm sure people in chat would have done that shit for like 50 bucks, bro. They don't even need to go to the, like, hello? <laughs> I mean, really? Uh, Sweet Leaf Mama. I think you're the five subs, Sweet Leaf Mama. <laughs> Oh God, this guy's studio has got to be awful. Oh, he's done a lot. Okay, that's, who knows what that is? I don't know what that is even. That's not anything, I, I don't know what that is. It could be a hot dog, it could be anything. Oh my God. From then on, it's just been, I'm kind of, slightly known as the penis guy bro the dude who did special effects makeup on oprah winfrey has now gone into being the penis guy that's quite that's an honor right there fortunately or unfortunately to me if you own a lab if you do prosthetics then you accept any challenge that you can mm -hmm. because that's the fun about it that's mm -hmm. the creative flow that an artist has as a makeup True. artist Mm. In recent years, <clears throat> on-screen prosthetic penises have been on the rise. That Aww. was a big one, and uh, of course it had a little uh, Prince <sighs> Albert in it. Sometimes they want a larger penis on the actor, and sometimes it's for the comfort of the actor, too. If I had to do a nude scene, so help me God, you're putting a 19-inch dick on me. I don't even give a fuck. I want people to be speculating how I can breathe properly. You know, I don't care. I dude, and there's going to be NDAs going out. Ain't nobody going to be talking about if it's a fake penis or not. I don't, I don't, I want people to be like, how is it even like he must stick it in his ass when he walks. I do not give a fuck, dude. Because, uh, sometimes they can do a scene without thinking about, Oh, I'm showing my own penis. So they can True. just forget about that part and, and do their You know, actually no, I'm flipping. I'm flip flopping right now. The dudes who wear fake penises, they're they're penis traders. They are. Because you know what they're doing? They're telling all the dudes out there who are going watching these, right? That that they may be insecure, but they don't want you to know that. So now the dude watching goes, wait a minute, I, well well why am I not what, what's wrong with my penis? You're a penis coward. You're a fucking penis coward, you're a penis trader. Okay, everybody post their penises on the subreddit right now. Everybody post their penis. <laughs> do not, please do not, you'll get banned. I'm joking, 
Do not do that. You will get banned. This is serious. You will get banned. I'm not joking. You will get banned if you do that. Do not do it. Do not say message received. Don't even joke about doing it. Stop talking even. Just everybody shut up. Acting. The majority of the time, it's about the size of the penis yeah, no or shit, the dude. testicles, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I want really, really big balls. That um, that a production or a director wants to utilize in the film or television production. When it comes to choosing the right genitalia. Oh my God. Okay. Production can choose from stock molds or request a special order. Should I show this? We're fine. Nothing's been bad yet. Once the mold is approved. Mungle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is he like a little gnome man? What the fuck's a mungle? Bro's out of Harry Potter, bro. Mungle gets to work on building the penises and he crawls on his knuckles. Mungle Craft. What an unfortunate name. No, 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 dude. That is a name that sticks with you when you make penises. We need a fake penis on set. Somebody hit up Mungle and Mungle's got like a, like a collar and a chain and they tug on him. And... <laughs> Sorry, this is really mean. This is basically the workshop that I work in. Um, this is where I do most of my lab work, sculpting over here. I mold it in silicone. <laughs> Bro's having too much fun with this. You know he is, bro. And then turn around and mold it in a platinum silicone, which He's is like, much- always give it a throat test? Always give it an anal test? Much more skin safe than a tin silicone. Now the silicone mm. I pour in is rather thick and I can color it any color I want. And uh, depending on what the, the actor's skin tone is, <laughs> uh, I usually pour oh. that in and slush it out so the penis is heavier in, on the, 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 the end of the penis and hollow uh, further up so the actor's real penis can go into that little sheet. Oh no, bro. This guy's out here like modeling. You can stuff your own wiener in it. Man, I better be able to keep the sheath. Actually, that kind of goes hard. That kind of goes hard. Yeah, little. Yeah, hey, chat, I hate to break it to you, okay? I hate to break it to you, but like, yeah. Unless the actor is bricked up for his seat. Oh, Will Neff's here, what is he saying? What the fuck did I just walk into? My brother walk right back out. I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to sit this stream out, okay? All right, boss. If you want, you can post your penis on my subreddit. We're not going to talk about it. This is a room I do uh, silicone appliances. Mm. And silicone appliances mm. are great because, of course, they're translucent. This is a, a forehead that I did for, um, for an actor. Do you, <laughs> I really don't like that he does the dick sleeves right next to where he does the face prosthetics. Especially, he was working with Oprah in the other scene. You'd hate one day he's applying and he goes, oh no, oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I, no, it's a whole, I I'm sorry. The prosthetics have to be able to make it through different on-screen snow. No, no, I don't want to see a penis. Uh... It's very oh, flexible and very realistic like skin. It's attached to the actor, so the actor can do his scene or whatever he has to do, run or jump or be in a jacuzzi, whatever they need to do. Um, and uh, yeah, of course. Do they do pussy too? What would you, what would you, what would, how would it? Hmm. Now that's, now that's a good question. Do you do pussy too? Hmm. So I had to make uh, testicles, just testicles, not a, not a penis for Step Brothers. So Will Ferrell, they weren't even real balls! Oh, Will Ferrell, come, dude, listen, I don't, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. The, okay, Will Ferrell not being willing to have his balls out for a movie, I look down on him now, and let me tell you why, okay? Balls are funny, and you, I don't think, unless you got weird balls, which I feel like is really unlikely, I don't, the only reason I don't stream with a, like, literal sat cam is because I would get banned. But if this platform made balls TOS friendly, I would have a dedicated for, uh, IMAX camera on those back. Who cares? Our balls, bro. Show us your balls. I, I'll show you my balls right now. I do not care. 
Balls are nothing. They're goofy. They're funny. You can pull them. I don't know. Could pull it out of his pants and rub it against the drum of um, uh, of the other actors. <laughs> That's the magic of it. I think is to make it so realistic that nobody knows that it's <laughs> this guy loves his job. I love this guy. A real or not a real <laughs> penis. True. Throughout his forty year career, is she becoming a penis? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mungle never stopped expanding his repertoire. Whoa. This is Forrest Whitaker's penis. Oh my god. It looks so much like him. Whoa. Brendan Fraser's Some penis. heads left over from a project I did called Salem for three seasons on television. Oh, and weird flex. I, you know, it's, it's my play playground. One of my big uh, actresses I worked on, worked with is Glenn Close. And um, she loves to change her look subtly. So I <laughs> so do she put a penis on her forehead. teeth for her. I do noses. I do ear lobes, ears, full ears oh! for Albert Nobbs, <laughs> for Hillbilly Elegy. We've achieved our goal as prosthetic or makeup artist mm -hmm. if you don't see our work. I mean, I love to hear that somebody watched a film and they didn't notice mm. that it was Glenn Close in the film until about 30 minutes into the film. I agree. That's cool. What does it have to do with the giant fucking penis you showed us at the beginning of the video, though? You know, like, I hear you. You're hurt. What you're saying is valid. <laughs> when you show me, like, a 14-inch penis is the expectation to go, oh, I wonder if that's really Tom Cruise's penis. <laughs> Jubilee, what is what are you spamming Jubilee for? Is there a video you want to put on the subreddit? People are spamming refresh the subreddit. Um, I'm here. What, what am I accepting dick pics since you will get banned, bro? I'm removing your post. What do you don't use my subreddit to get dick pics? You we could work something out. Someone send Wubby Matt Damon's penis from Boogie Nights. <gasps> is that is that fake? What is real? Hmm. Bro, of course it's fake. What is real? <laughs> All right. That was fun. Peanut, thank you for that. And we didn't get, we're not going to get banned for that. There was no penis in that. Watch the Froggy Fresh items video. All right. Oh my God. Fine. Bro, people are. Th hungry Didn't for my opinion on that content at home and in uh, i will watch it i will say carlos linked it to me before stream started yet? and he said wubby this just came out you should watch it on stream wait okay is this girl actually the one posted this or did you guys just upload a, a photo of a girl on the subreddit this is not you nope this is a fat guy yep that sucks so to everyone right now just i need to give a fair warning <clears throat> there's a photo of a of an attractive a uh, uh, model woman on the subreddit with huge titties and feet and everything, okay? And I want you to know, chat, do not get caught. Do not get caught, boys, okay? This is who posted it. Do not get caught, boys. You will be caught lacking. This is the dude who posted it, okay? It is not her. Do not buy nothing from this man. You need to stay strong, okay? Do not get caught. <clears throat> I'm still gonna nut. That's fine. I'm just trying to, I'm warning you. All right. Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Bro, there's a post on the summer. I'm gonna show you guys so bad. It says POV Wubby was left home alone for an evening. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and it's me. It's the Charlie scene from Sunny in Philadelphia where he has the board and all the red wire, right? <laughs> But instead of all that shit, it's a bunch of dudes' penises. It's the dude from the Star Wars game's penis. It's a gun. It's feet. <laughs> Bro, it's really off the rails, isn't it? I'm sorry. I really am. <clears throat> so ladies can post tits, but guys can, can't post hogs. Okay, listen. Hey, here's what I'm going to say to that, okay? If you don't see the difference between a titty and a penis, you might be nine, all right? Okay, go walk around New York topless and then go walk around with your dick out. All right, tell me where you end up. Okay, if I have to explain the difference between titties and dicks, all right, then this you're too young for the stream to begin with. All right, the post is labeled satire. It's because we don't have a label that says I'm dumb as fuck. 
We don't have that label yet. All right? Also, I hate to break it to you guys. I hate to break it to you, okay? We've been through this. We let dicks on the subreddit before, and guess what happened? Everyone was so annoyed that they're like, why am I logging on to Webby's subreddit and just seeing fucking dicks everywhere? All right? We've been through this. You're too new of a frog to understand that we've let penises roam free on the sub, and then everyone was like, oh. <laughs> Listen, I, at the end of the day, I don't, deep down, if you're asking if I care, I truly don't care. I truly don't, right? But I have to do what's best for my audience. And most of my audience is okay with titties. Most, even the ladies are pretty okay with titties. A lot of, a lot of, I'm sorry, but some of y'all just got weird looking penises, man. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Uh, let's watch this items video. I know, I know. I, you know, here's the thing. I'm, I'm ready to, I'll give my opinion on it throughout the video. I kind of do want to give my opinion on it. it this came out like, uh, two hours ago or three hours ago at this point. So this is fresh. This is hot. This is a meme <clears throat> Let's take a look. Can you link the subreddit? Ah, you're thirsty. Ah, you're thirsty So as you guys I, this video is about um, This video is about froggy fresh. It's so bad. Well, let me see. I want to see Let me be the judge Let me be the judge of it. The comments are wild. Imagine making Keemstar sound reasonable. Oh, oh no. Oh, that is a bad top comment, bro. Oh no, that is a bad top comment, bro. Usually he's the puppet man. Oh my God. I did not expect, bro, what are these comments, bro? They're so against him. Um. I would love to see the dislike ratio enabled again just for this video. Uh, we're at 23K to, tw bro, okay. I haven't seen the video yet. I haven't seen the video yet. It's looking like audience reception is bad, but I don't know if that's an indication of if the content is bad. I'm not saying I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Um, this all could have been avoided if Ian could squat 220. Oh, dude, these are all Sam Hyde memes if you didn't know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a deep meme. Holy shit. Uh, sending Chris Reagan into a fight was incredibly irresponsible and dangerous, Ian, and you know that. And Miss Kinsignetta, damn sure, should have known that. But instead of just dropping the fight, you two decided to go ahead with a dangerous match that wasn't entertaining because of how mismatched it was. Despite what you say and other precautions you take, that decision alone displays a complete and foolish disregard of fighter safety. <clears throat> You're spoiling it? I'm s someone said the comments are unhinged and I wanted to start there. Bad take. Chat, these are not my takes. I'm reading the... T that was the top five comments I just read. Okay, so clearly those takes are getting signal boosted. I'm not saying nothing about it. Just play it. Actually, I'd like to give a story. So I was born in San Diego, California. The, it was a warm summer's day. <laughs> Actually, let me, let me go back further. So my mother... <laughs> All right. It's like you came back and you were a pawn in some game of 4D chess, and I think you found out that iDubs and Anissa don't play games. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Brief update, I am healed from Creator Clash 2. Uh, it was a success, Alex Wasabi beat me. Fuck you, I am gonna talk. I'm gonna say this real quick. Before we get into the video, my, here's my opinion on it. Here's my, I don't know anything more than what's been made public. I don't, I, I, I've only been witnessing this from the outside. I do have friends that I know that were in the fight, but I didn't press them for information. I didn't, and I also didn't, it wasn't my business. I was happy to even be invited to Creator Clash and allowed to sit and allowed to be a VIP. So I didn't want to get involved, uh, especially because I don't know all the details. So with that being said, wh what was my opinion on it? Uh, uh, ultimately, I, I, this is what I kept saying when anyone asked me, to remove a fighter from the card three weeks before the event uh that person must have seriously fucked up so if that's what's happening then it should be easy to set show and point to what they did to fuck up if that's the entirety of my opinion now creator clash put out a statement 
And I will say this, and I would say this to Ian, I think he would agree, the statement they originally put out was not enough, in my opinion, to help me, just an outsider, understand. But that doesn't mean I'm not, I'm going to go up in arms about it. Okay, maybe there, so, and that's all I knew. I'm, I'm here, hey, we got rid of him because of this, and because of that, and I read that, I'm like, ah, it's not enough details, but whatever. You're a politician in your words. I don't know, dude. How am I supposed to give an opinion on this? I don't know. So now that's where I am. Optics were on the line. It was a professional move. Exactly. Wow. Well, exactly. So now I'm going to watch it because apparently he's going to go into detail here. Me up. He, you know, he won his fight fair and square. And I have all the respect for Alex. He's a good competitor. And uh, I have respect for all the other fighters on the Creator Clash card. And thank you to all the fans who came. It was an amazing event. I'm, in, I'm, I'm here. I'm right happy. there. That's me. I'm very there. Very happy, very emotional. I'm in that. Awesome experience. I'll never forget it. Having said all that, you guys are here for the juice and the grease. So I'm going to give you guys the grease and the juice. Do you feel like his this this eye is deeper than it was before? Do you think that's that's because of box? I feel like this eye is further back than it was. Juice. <laughs> Uh, and that all has to do with Froggy Fresh. The reason I didn't address <laughs> any of this kidding. sooner is because I was terrified of jeopardizing the success of the event because okay. there are a lot more people involved in this than just Anissa and I. True. Uh, and I didn't want to fuck it up for them. These are Fair. people that I really care about, and I felt like it would be very selfish if I was like, I understand public perception right now, guys. I'm just gonna make a quick 10 minute video and I'll squash all the rumors, I'll squash all the beef. I have no idea what public perception for this video is going to be. Dude, how crazy has the internet flipped on this guy? My chat, who I'm not gonna force to feel the same way I feel, my chat on their own, without me giving them any sort of guidance in their opinion on this, is spamming how much of a cuck Idubs is. It's crazy, dude. Idubs was like, you, and I'm not, I'm not giving, I have not said anything negative about him at all. Go ahead, find a clip of me saying that he's a cuck. Find a clip of me saying, because I don't say that about him. It's crazy how the internet, I'm just commenting on that. It's actually mind blowing that this was like everyone's daddy at one point. You and suck. Now found it. And now people are saying, um, I mean, everyone's shitting on him. It's crazy. That's why I'm doing it now, right? Is it, the event is now over with. I can, I can risk it, you know? I can air my grievances, All right, and we I'm can here. see where it goes. I'm here. I need to bring you guys up to speed on where I'm at as a person and as a content creator. I'm gonna yap, I don't give a fuck. Uh, there was, I don't know if Peanut talked about this on a stream, but there was somebody, I gotta tell you guys about this, and this type of person, I would legitimately karate chop in the throat. There was somebody at Creator Clash in the floor seating where, where Peanut was sitting with, with the rest of the crew, and, um, uh, they, they were sitting right in front of um, uh, 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 Pina and company. And during Ian's fight, they were just screaming. He's a racist. He's racist. We're not going to forget what you said. She could not handle the fight and was just. He said the N word. He said the N word. He doesn't deserve this. Anytime people would cheer for Ian in the section two, she'd be like, you know, he's racist. Well, he's racist. I'm telling you right now, man, woman, child. I don't care if she was in a wheelchair. I would karate chop her in the throat. I would karate chop her in the throat. Okay. That's what I'm going to say about that. Oh, wait. I, yeah. Peanut said I cheered louder after that. <clears throat> my philosophy for a while was, well, people will figure it out through the videos I make. But the problem is the videos I make, I mean, I sort of avoid speaking from the heart. I'm just going to focus on a thing, on a piece of content. I, I think I have bad associations with sharing my life uh, on the internet. I'm like, <laughs> no, that, that shouldn't be my thing. Like, leave that up to the vloggers. But I think it's important to share where I'm at. So uh, none of what I'm talking about in this Froggy Fresh video feels like I'm being hypocritical or, okay. uh, you know, I'm misleading you in any way. I think a lot of the content I've made has been irresponsible and misguided. And I think I've hurt a lot of people with the content I've made, uh, you know, despite many people being entertained by it. You know, I'm not trying to take that away from you. If you feel like you've learned important lessons or you have grown as a person because of the content I've made, I don't wanna take that away from you. 
with some good can come a lot of bad. And I think I've done a lot of bad. And, uh, you know, at the bare minimum, I've just put a lot of negativity out there in the world. And I'm working on not doing that. I plan on expanding on all of this in a, a I wonder what his take would be on the woman screaming that he was a racist during the fight. Because what he just said, I was defending him just now, saying that woman should not be there and she's pathetic for doing that, right? So now I'm genuinely wondering, after what he just said, what would his response be to that woman screaming throughout the entire fight that Ian doesn't deserve this, he's a racist, he's a Nazi, he said the N-word. I wonder what he would say to it. So I'm going to call Ian right now. <laughs> and we're going to just put it on speaker. I'm not going to tell him we're live. We're just going to put it on speaker. And we're going to see what he says, you know? I mean... <laughs> For your further video, I think there's a lot of content uh, from over the years and some behind the scenes that I'd love to share with you guys. I think it would, it would give clarity to, to where I'm at. But in this well, video, if it isn't the racist I dubs himself. You know, that's a, probably about all I can say on, on any of it. I don't want to detract from what the focus is. And the focus is kicking Froggy Fresh from the Creator Clash Okay, card. here we go. The main reason Froggy was kicked from the card was for collaborating with Sam Hyde. There and it is. All right, let's get into the game tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right, so he, because he worked with S Samantha Hyde. You know, for anyone who's been following the story, that's, you know, fairly obvious. Uh, Froggy has explained, uh, you know, his side of the story multiple times. And uh, unfortunately, he's been perpetuating a narrative that it's about OnlyFans. Sam Hyde. Who is Sam Hyde? Sam Hyde was, uh, well, he's, I don't know how he keeps getting away with it, but he's a, he's a prominent school shooter. Uh, you can pretty much blame him for any tragedy with a gun in the United States. Um, and he just keeps getting away with it. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah, Sam Hyde, the mass shooter. You ever seen him with the blonde hair? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, yeah, he's also, you might know him by, as the ghost of Kiev. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Let's, let's, or that I'll, it's about... I, I, I don't, do I need to explain who Sam Hyde is? That's crazy. Oh, Denise's mom, and it, that's extremely deceptive because he knows why he was kicked from the card, the one indication I gave him was man. Sam Hyde, and I, I wasn't unclear about that. Anyone who's mentioning the fact that Harley trained with Sam Hyde for the year previous, uh, that was before Sam was saying this about my wife. I don't think so, Anissa. Bitch. Ho. Fucking Anissa. What an ugly piece of shit. Well, look how beat she is. Oh, nice jack-o'-lantern teeth. That's like a I can't wait to see what she looks like when she's... 32. Her teeth look like a like a pumpkin head. Like it's the Anissa Joma whole. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so from what Ian just said, oh, I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. It goes directly into charity. Yeah. Everybody hates him, and his wife's a slut. So yeah, now that this guy is on the daily insulting my wife, I think it's okay. pretty fair to you know not want to associate with him. In so so Ian says to Froggy, don't work with Sam Hyde. Or you can't box. Now, is that what was said? Did Ian make it explicitly clear to Froggy you can't work with him, or otherwise you won't be able to come to my event? If the answer is yes, if then Froggy went and did it, then uh, Froggy shouldn't be allowed from the event. And furthermore, I think that's a good enough of a reason that all the Creator Clash had to do was tweet out, hey, we told Froggy Fresh not to work with somebody. He went and worked with them. He is now out of the event. End of story. It's your event. You can do what you want. People are saying no. I don't. I don't know. But if 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 I'm throwing an event and I bring Peanut, and I say Peanut, you can be involved in the event. By the way, look me in the eyes. You cannot work with. I don't know. You cannot work with Will Neff. And then Peanut goes and works with Will Neff. I'm gonna say, Hey Peanut, you're out of the event. But here's what's here's what I don't understand though. Okay. First off, did he make it clear? Did 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 Ian make it clear? I don't know. I don't, I don't have text in front of me. Maybe he did. I haven't seen the rest of the video. Okay. And then uh, the other thing is, um, why wasn't it like super explicit? Like, like, dude, if I, the Creator Clash should just put out, hey, we told Froggy Fresh not to work with this guy, and then he fucking worked with him. He breached contract. Bye bye. It's that easy. In any way, we did ban Sam from the first event, so it's not as if he's confused about where he stands in all this. Uh, I don't like him. And, and Froggy knows that. Froggy knows that I don't like him. Of course. That's why he was banned. You know, none of this is like 
news to Froggy. Froggy knew all of this going into it. For anyone who's under the impression that Froggy has been like reasonable and chill and respectful uh, through this whole process, he hasn't been. He's been a piece of shit. Uh, I'm not happy with how he's behaved. He's talked mad shit about me. Ian doesn't want people who are bigger and more talented than him upstaging him. That's what so this was this, just so you guys have clarification, this was all done after Froggy was banned. Um, this is, it's an important note because like, people might use this to say this is why he was banned. Uh, this all happened after, I believe, this interview with Brandon Buckingham. It is. Anissa. Ian's masculinity has been completely removed via Anissa. Uh, participants of the event. This is really a lot of weird, tender, soft people. <laughs> Creator Clash people are real like these types of people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Titi, you can't call him a midget, bro. The fuck, dude? What are you saying, dude? Yeah, he's, he's you know, stunted. All right? Jesus, bro, you're a mod. The event itself. This is really like the patty cake league for, for, for like social uh, media boxing. You know? uh, he doesn't like the culture of Creator Clash, and he mentioned that. And Chris Reagan and all these people, it's like some big ethot worshiping um, party at these things. And I don't get it. I don't get what all this shit is all about. But everybody's there to you're worship like bubbles, ethos bro? or fucking ethot or get or like touching ethos, titty or pussy. Or <laughs> To be honest, I thought it was quite the gift to you that we'd kick you off the card. You have no more obligations, and you can immediately just pivot into boxing for misfits. It's like, that's the culture that you want. You want the, the non-sissy, you want the macho dude traditional boxing culture, so go over there and box for them. You don't even have to miss that many months of training. You, you've been training. So hop on one of those cards. But unfortunately, Froggy doesn't want to hop on one of those cards because he thinks the uh, skill level is too high. Personally, in my opinion, I think the talent at Misfits and Happy Punch is in a different league that is out of my league. <laughs> by the way, guys, Wings versus Boogie, we're, we could, I can't wait for that, by the way. Like, yeah, the skill level is low, but I'm there for it. I don't give a fuck. It's going to be so good. Amazing. And then right here. All right, so yeah. we're, we're seven minutes into the video, and I will say so far, uh, Ian's just, they're taking shots at each other, and I think that's fair. But I'm, I need to, if, if, if my, if my opinion is going to be, you know, the ban was justified. I need to see Ian saying, hey, you can't work with this guy or you're out. And then I need to see Froggy ignoring that. It comes later. Good. I'm just giving you my... Guys, we're reacting live. If you wanted to watch the video without my commentary, then you go watch it, right? Stop. I mean, come on. What it the goes, hell? It turns quickly from boxing to assault. Just fight someone who's weaker than you. So I'm not... I'm done with boxing. I can fulfill my current obligations. If for some reason Creator Class changed their mind, I could fulfill my current obligations. My disingenuous opinion? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Cobra Smokehouse, one year sub. My disingenuous opinion. Okay. Dude, you are. Okay. Oh, you know what? Get on a call. Hop on a call. Here we go, Chad. Here's your representative again. Get on a call. Get, hit up Peanut right now. Get on a call. It's time, clown man. Please. And you know, I want you in detail to point out exactly where I was disingenuous, okay? Okay. You're going to sit there. And this is the closest you're ever going to be to being involved in any of this. It's going to be this moment that I'm allowing you to have. All right? I want you to get on a call right now and tell me what I'm being... First off, tell me what my opinion is. Tell me what, tell me what my opinion is, first of all, because I don't even know if I've said it out loud. All right? And then I want you to explain to everyone in chat what's disingenuous about the opinion that I haven't even shared yet. Please, bro. Please come here. Okay? You don't know any of these people. You, I, the, the closest you've ever been to them is watching their videos. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to slap the shit out of you verbally. Get on a call. Anyway. Going further than any other boxing. It just, it's such a fucking cop out that you're like, all right, I'm such a victim for getting kicked off the Creator Clash event when I knew he left? what would get me kicked he left? off the Creator Clash. He left? This, he already left? Fucking more, dude. Unbub morons in this chat, dude. Oh wait, no, is he, is he here? Huh? Huh? Love you, Wubby. What do you mean you love me? What are you trying to do to me? What do you mean you love me? What do you mean you love me? 
<gasps> I, I'm st should, do we ban him, chat? <sighs> I'm not hopping on a call, but I know, but you know Sam Hyde and Ian's history. What the fuck does that have to do with anything, you fucking brain dead moron? You're so brain dead. I don't. You're so brain dead, dude. Literal schizo. Your clash event. And now you're mods, like, I don't you know, I'm gonna let my mods decide. Mods, you decide if you want to ban him or not. You decide if you want to ban him or not. Go, seriously, you decide. Oxygen I don't want to decide. Anymore. It's like, I'll come support on. either decision. If you look at my text exchange with Froggy, ooh, 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 this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay, chat. Here we go. We're about to, we're about to get into the weeds. Box anymore. It's like, come on. If you look at my text exchange. Hey, dude, I just want to clarify that I'm not mad at you. I just want this event to go well. And part of that is trying to be proactive about things. I'm assuming that's Ian. I'm going to assume Ian's green. Uh, I just want to find a solution. I really appreciate your friendship, and I don't want to feel like I've upset you. Whoever green is is, is, is speaking very kindly. I don't know. Wait, is green? Ian is green. E green, I already like. I already like the way green is speaking. I don't understand what's wrong. Can I not work with Sam Hyde? Okay. He's been very nice to me. Okay. Question. There's nothing wrong with asking a question. It's just a tricky situation. I personally have been hurt by a lot of things he's done. And if he's your friend, that's totally understandable. I just don't get along with him. I'm afraid of having him associated with the event. Very fair. Very fair. There are others involved in the event that also aren't comfortable with, uh, I'm assuming. Okay. Very fair. Very fair. Yeah, he's my friend. Now, Froggy's losing me a little bit. I don't understand what me going to Rhode Island to work with Sam, who is... Sam has to do with anyone who is uncomfortable with him. They don't have to see or work with him. Now, Froggy, I will say, this ultimately comes down to, Froggy's allowed to voice his opinion, but at the end of the day, I'm like 80% Team Ian now with these texts alone. It's, it's laid out pretty clearly now, chat. It's laid out pretty clearly. I personally, okay, here's, you want my opinion on Sam Hyde? Here's my opinion on Sam Hyde. I, Sam Hyde is someone who I find very funny, but who unfortunately takes things way too far, and then it makes it hard for me to find him funny. Okay, that's it. I think, and I, I, I'm gonna, I will, I think Sam Hyde has done things. For example, have you ever seen Sam Hyde's TEDx talk he did? One of the funniest videos on the internet. Super funny. And then unfortunately, you dig deep enough, you start going down a Sam Hyde rabbit hole, and you go, ooh. Uh, okay. Mm, I guess that's it then, huh? I guess that's it. See what I'm saying? Uh, people are saying literally Nazi. Okay, I don't know. I, I, I haven't gone that deep. I know everyone says that when his name gets brought up, and that's fair. But that's my opinion on Sam Hyde through what I've seen. I think that he's made me laugh, and then he goes too far to the point where, yeah, it's kind of not someone you want to be associated with. Uh, I do think the memes around him are funny. Like, every time there's a shooting... People will call into the news and say it's him. It's fucked up, but it does, it, you know, it is what it is. But I'm not going to lie to you guys and, and, and pretend like I haven't laughed at his jokes in the past, right? I mean, I saw that video years ago, years ago. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I think he takes it too far to a point of you can't defend it anymore. I really do. I, and I, I consider myself a pretty edgy, humored person. And I, th I, do, I do think Sam Hyde will take it too far. I think he takes it far too far. I think if there's a line, Sam Hyde is 100 meters past it. You know, if we, if we jump back and forth on the line, Sam Hyde is having a picnic two miles down the road. And, and, and for that, I think it goes, fish tank is entertaining. See, that's the thing, right? That's the thing. It is entertaining. And what do you say about it? What can you say? It's like, it's tough. All right. Uh, I don't understand with me going to work with him. Okay. Uh, I agree privately. Wait, 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 hold on. I agree privately. What you do is absolutely only your business, but because we're running in a public charity event here, uh, we have to be careful about these things because you do represent the event. Fair. I had similar issues last year. I thought no problem, Harley. You can work with Sam, but it ended up attracting a bad crowd and I got harassed the line. Okay. It was a public display. That's nice of you to give Harley permission to work with Sam Hyde. I didn't know I needed your permission as well. Ay, ay. I'm not going to lie. Froggy being a little... Uh, I'm trying to use the, the pr proper term here. Froggy being a little defensive. Yeah, a little, a little aggro. If I got a text like this, I feel like here's what I would say. All right, bro. If I was Froggy, this isn't me speaking. If I was Froggy Fresh, in the Froggy Fresh mindset, he's saying Sam Hyde is his friend. If I was Froggy Fresh, I would say, 
All right, bro. I I'm homies with Sam Hyde. This is your event. You're telling me I can't work with him because it's your event. I won't. It sucks. I, you know, I want to, but I have to respect the fact that this is your event. Boom. Over. It's done. It's settled. Boom. It's settled. And I probably send him a meme of, uh, of uh, Sonic in a wheelchair eating a hot dog. This last message is a little like past. It's super aggressive. I'm not even gonna lie. Change with frog. Ah, there's more. It's not about permission. He just called and asked if it was cool because he was making content around it. So what are we actually discussing right now? If I work with Sam Hyde, are you going to prevent me from fighting the event? Ooh, bi okay. Big question. Big question. He actively makes content about wanting my marriage to end. That my wife is evil. God, I mean, he. I mean, yeah. He really, he really does do that and hasn't respected my boundaries. I don't feel comfortable having him associated with the event. I'm wondering if you can understand where I'm coming. I feel like Ian is communicating extremely maturely right now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I feel like Ian, like, listen, you can hate Ian for whatever reason you want. And, and I, I'm, I'm not going to try to convince you that Ian is or isn't these things you want to say about him. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm looking at these texts right now. I think Ian is, is, I think Ian is communicating pretty healthily. Like, Hey bro, this is why I feel this way. Are you still on what I'm stepping in? So far he's on top. I agree. Okay. I can understand the way you feel. I'm sorry about that. Ah, man, that ain't it. But you also have to understand that he is my friend. So I can't just tell him I can't be friends with him because Ian said so, but that's not what Ian's saying, my brother. That's not what Ian's saying, my brother. That's not what Ian's saying. Ian's not saying you can't be friends with him, my brother. <clears throat> Uh, that's why I'm asking you if I work with him, are you going to prevent me from fighting a creator clash? I think this is where Ian might have to actually, I don't, I'm not going to read this yet. I think this is where Ian should probably say, yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Make it very clear, right? Uh, it's a, it's a public charity event. Who you train with is going to be publicized. And if, and if Ian says it's not, that, that makes me uncomfortable. I think that's, you know, I think as the event organizer, I'm not arguing, uh, what's, uh, you know, what I would do, I'm arguing that if you're the event organizer, you can kind of do that if you want. Uh, it's not a reflection of you. It's just a very painful and difficult thing for me that I'm dealing with, and I need to keep distance from that includes this project. I think Ian's being pretty clear here. I think Ian's being pretty clear. He's, he's kind of saying, okay, I would just appreciate a yes or no answer, man. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to boxing practice tomorrow or not. Froggy, come on, man. Take a hint, bro. Like, how, how, <laughs> he just wants a straight answer. Okay, but chat, listen, listen. I know he wants a straight answer, but I'll say this. I'll, I'll give a hot take. If this isn't straight enough of an answer for you, then you got brain damage. You want a straight answer? I think it's pretty fucking straight. How much training has he been, who, has he been sparring fucking Tyson? This is pretty fucking straight, dude. If you're not, if this ain't straight enough for you, see, do you know what this is? It's not that he wants a straight answer, Chad. This is an ego play. It's not he wants a straight answer. This is an ego battle. This is a pride off right now. Say it, this is a, say it to my face is what this is. This is put it in writing. He's saying it clearly, bro. He's saying it. I'm sorry. Listen, guys, I'm all for shitting on people that deserve shitting on. I'm all for it. I know there's a lot of people in this chat who are foaming at the mouth to shit on Ian, but these texts, man, I'm sorry, but they're pretty clear. What be wrong? I would actually love if, if someone thinks anything I've said up to this point is wrong, I would actually love to get on a call. I'd love to hear the other side. Cause I'm, I love guys. I'm not, I'm, I want to, I like when someone has something else to bring to the table. He's that chick who killed two people during a DUI and was wondering how she's going to go to school the next day. TT, you just can't, hit tonight bro <laughs> bro TD sent two messages in the last hour and one of them was Mitchett and one of them was about a DUI murder <laughs> I love TT though I love him to death uh, I love him to death gonna one guy okay you know what you know what we'll do we'll get into a discord with 40 of you is that, is that better uh, all right it kind of depends on what your plan is because Sam Hyde is banned from our event. If you want him to be there, we cannot accommodate that. Okay, wait, now I'm, now I'm seeing Ian be a little bit more, uh, you know, maybe trying to work with him a little bit. My plan is to go to, should I do a froggy voice? My plan is to go to Rhode Island to hang out with him. So again, I ask, if I go to work with him, are you going to prevent me from fighting in Creator Clash 2? I would appreciate a yes or no answer. I have to talk to my coach about practice this week. <laughs> 
real voice. Uh, well, I'm not sure I understand. Does that mean you aren't expecting him to be at the event? Are you going to make content together? Oh, God. It's a I, I, this is so, this is such an unfortunate thing. Uh, he has not mentioned attending the event. <laughs> I'm done doing the voice. I don't believe he intends to do so. I have not discussed this with him. I do not intend, or I do intend to make content with him. Now that I've answered your questions, would you be respectful enough to answer mine? Okay. I will say Ian needs to maybe, maybe, you know, really shoot straight here at this point. Let's see what happens. This event is really important to me and I'm trying to understand everything so I can make the best decision, decision for everyone involved. I need time to think about this. I don't want to be, okay. Okay. He said, okay, we've discussed a bit. Let me take some time to figure this out. Okay, so I would say, I would say, I would walk away from these texts. If I was Froggy, I would walk away from these texts. Ian does not want me to train with Sam, but he has not said I'm banned. This last message to me tells me that if I did train with Sam, I'm not necessarily banned. It's going to be a conversation. I, I don't think there's anything in stone after this, after these texts. That's how I would walk away from it. To be fair, because Ian did waffle a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you my opinion. If I got these messages, this message right here, this last message would indicate to me that Ian is still undecided on how he would want to handle the situation. That's what I'm just telling you where I'm at. Okay. My opinion is changing as more messages come. I'm, I'm learning more. Okay. So I'm going to schedule practice this week, not knowing whether or not you're allowing me to fight in the event because I'm going to hang out with someone you don't like. Man, I don't even want to say it, but I kind. Okay. Oh boy. Man, this is tough. I'm, 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 I'm actually kind of split now. This is tough. <clears throat> say it. I'm in the middle now because, okay, here's, here's the reality, right? I'm cool with Ian. And if Ian sent me this messages because I'm cool with him, because I, you know, respect the relationship him and I have, I would go, yeah, no problem. No problem, brother. No problem. But clearly, uh, Froggy Fresh is treating this like, uh, I'm here to box. I'm here to train. We're not homies. I don't care. Uh, that's his right. He doesn't have to humor Ian's feelings. He, it sounds like Froggy is saying he will humor the rules, but he won't humor your feelings. So I think we can, be, we can agree. Froggy's being a dick, but that's where I'm kind of getting, it's kind of difficult for me to say because yeah, Froggy is being a dick and these messages are clear as day. Froggy Fresh is being a dick. If I was messaging Ian, I would humor him because I care about him, right? Fro but, but not caring about Ian's feelings it's not clear if that would get Froggy banned from the event. And I do worry about that because you need to be clear, right? It, 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 it's tough. It's tough. Uh, do you agree as the organizer, he can ban whoever he wants for whatever fucking reason he wants because it's his event? Um, to an extent, I do. I do. I think that, yes, he has the right to, obviously, but it is a publicized event. So when you do something like that, I think that while he can, absolutely, you have to face the consequences of an audience of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people wanting an explanation, right? And I think that's also fair to say. He can ban whoever he wants for whatever reason he wants. You have to face the music though. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Um, this is tough. This is actually tough. These texts are tough. These texts are tough. I think ultimately what I've gained from these texts is I don't like Froggy. I think he's being kind of hostile here, kind of rude. Um, he makes me uncomfortable with these texts, but I also have to be as objective as possible. And I have to say, I think Ian needs to say without a, a doubt, Hey dude, if you do this, you're banned from the event or someone does maybe Ian, like, I don't like being the bad guy in my business side of things. I'll get booty to say, <laughs> right? Just send, send booty out. Hey booty. Can you tell him? All right. I don't understand why you're talking to me like this. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm sweating. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I explained I explained to you the awful experience I've had with him. It potentially leads to another year of harassment for me. And Anissa, I can't take this stuff lightly. Can you guarantee that's not going to end up a Okay, okay. I think Ian's, I'm back on Ian Ian's saying, hey, if you do this, is this going to affect me? Um, this isn't someone I don't like. This is someone who is dedicated to the disrupting event we're running for charity. I, you know what? I'm kind of back fully on Ian's. Ian's really saying like, dude. I don't know. Okay. Harassing is, or uh, charity harassing, it's two main organizers sending his fans, his fan base, oh, his fan base to do his bidding. 
Uh, I want you to fight. I want you to know the pain he caused me. Anissa and our event. Oh, God. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I need to call Peanut. 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 Peanut? Yeah. Are you watching stream? Yeah. Should... Am I tripping for this take? Talk me off this take. Uh, let, me, let me hear Fresh, the whole thing front to back. All right. Froggy Fresh is coming off like an asshole here. Right? Okay. This is business, and he is not homieing out for Ian's feelings. That's my first half of my take. Okay. I also think Ian is not without blame. I do think Ian should say in plain English, in business speak, hey, if you do this, you're banned. Yeah. That's the yeah, it's a little um giving fairness to both sides, I think. My thing too, and like this is more uh to bat for Ian as well. Like, think about being in his shoes. I don't know how close to the vent these texts are, like when this conversation mm -hmm. happened. Oh, assuming true. assuming <laughs> assuming it's fairly close to when he was publicly kicked from the event. Assuming it's that close. So within two months. Mm -hmm. from the event and it's his mm -hmm. thing you know how seriously he takes it he definitely judging from this doesn't want to ban any fighter from the event for any reason mm -hmm. like you've talked to him like he doesn't like he takes it very seriously he cares for all of his fighters mm -hmm. and that is what that's just a logistical nightmare one for any mm -hmm. reason no matter what even if someone got injured and it's like we have to find a new replacement for you you know, three weeks after right. the event. That sucks. So mm -hmm. which is having... exactly why if I was Froggy, I would I would read the writing, you know, it, between the lines here and I would go, You don't want to have to kick me. If I do it, it sounds like you'll feel like you're you you're getting called to do it. So I'm just not gonna work with Sam. But I think uh, Froggy wants to do it uh, and he doesn't care if it hurt Amaranth, get, Amaranth, well be box me, let's go, Amaranth. I would fucking kill you. <laughs> Amaranth, I'm telling you, it would be this big hyped up thing for six months. Sorry, Peanut. For six <laughs> months, Amaranth, you'd be we'd be training, yada yada. I would walk out probably a little bit stoned. I'd have a cigarette <laughs> in my mouth. Amaranth, I would punch you once. It, it, the crowd would go, oh, he was serious. This wasn't a joke. You, you could really make a show of it, too. You could hit it with a stone cold stunner, you know? Yeah. No, Off the top give... rope, everything. Or... She'd be done. Now, Amaranth, I know you got gas stations and shit. I will take a fall. I will take the fall. We could talk. Let's go. Anyway, Peanut, go on. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That was basically it. They, oh, like, okay. Had, that's, right. that, that he, d he definitely doesn't want to lay down the law, like lay down the hammer and be like, mm -hmm. hey, it's man. It's hard to do. It's hard to it, do. Because, yeah, and, and he's, yeah. He's, he's probably like had a lot of internal conversations. Like, do I really want to do this? Like, just he's tell split. him. No, I think he's yeah. a little split. And to that, I will also say he <clears throat> should have, I mean, in hindsight, right? Like, he should be straight he should shoot straight here and just he be like hey yeah, man i agree i think if you do go that route that's probably where it's gonna go i'm probably not gonna let you fight you know exactly but also exactly. depends on how he handles it i think there's a way that froggy could have worked with sam hyde and also been allowed to still do the event if he played it right mm -hmm. potentially i think mm -hmm. he probably played it the worst way he could have as well like through yeah. the text through what he said uh, publicly and everything. Guys, like... leave Amaranth alone! Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I feel like a mod there. Holy shit. Like I embraced... By the way, Peanut, are you... Are you... Is that a thing? An Amaranth mod? Yeah. Yeah. Traitor. What? I hung up. All right. Uh, let's continue. I hope... I hope I'm giving a fair opinion. I hope I'm not pissing anybody off. I, I, I'm really like... I'm speaking from the heart here, guys. I'm really trying to be... KBB Mama! Thank you for 24, bro! I'm speaking from the heart here, guys. I'm speaking from the heart. Uh, okay. Uh, again, if I was Froggy, this is, it's like, bro, don't train with Sam Hyde. It's that easy. Uh, I want you to fight. I want you to know the pain. Okay, dude, because you're trying to tell me who I can and can't be friends with, I'm going to, uh, say, you know what? We should have finished this before me and Peanut talked. I, I mean, this is just like, come on, bro. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to Rhode Island to work with Sam, and I'm scheduling my practices for this week. If I'm being removed from the event, please let me know. Very clear that ah, there's more. Oh my God, how many more are there? I can't wait. Fuck. I never said you couldn't be friends with him. I would just prefer if you waited till after the event to post content with him. Kind of reasonable. 
kind of a reasonable dub from Ian. I dubs. <laughs> kind of reasonable. Mm, froggy. Yeah, that's weird. I'm not the type of person that you can just make do whatever you want or whatever is convenient for you. Ah, this is not, this is, this is off the rails now. No, it's not. It's controlling. Hey, Johnny Riggs, Johnny Riggs. I'm going to let you in a little secret. Okay. Ian is being a little controlling here. You know, I, he doesn't have a right to do that unless this is his event. Who's going to tell him? Like, like, I, Ian's being a little controlling here. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, you're not going to change my mind. I'm going to work with him. I feel like this is such a communication breakdown right here. It's like five steps back. I'm trying to cook dinner for my kids. <laughs> oh, my brother, what are you <clears throat> When I was young, me and my mama had beef 17 years old, kicked out on the street. The back of the time, I never thought I'd see a face. Ain't a woman alive that could take my mama's place. Suspended from school. Something, something, big boy, play about the rules. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get that out. Sounds like your personal problems are interfering with your business. It wasn't my intention to dictate things to you. I just wanted to give you my perspective because we haven't talked about this topic before. Ultimately, it's your decision. I'm sorry the combo went this direction. Okay, I'll fight. Thanks. <sighs> Man, these, these DMs are exhausting. <laughs> these DMs are exhausting. This is... This is uh... This is a, uh, this is a if, if, if this is a, okay, we're going to score this like a boxing match. <laughs> Round one, I think, goes to Ian. And I came into this probably with a bias towards, positively towards Froggy, just because I don't like how the information was given out. So with that being said, first round is going to Ian easily. I, I really think Ian is in the right here after these DMs. Could Ian have been more clear? Yes. If I'm being fair, Ian probably should have been a little more clear. But overall, I mean, these DMs don't lie. I didn't want to kick him from the card. I got to the point where I was like, okay, I don't want you working or training with Sam Hyde, but you're doing that. So, all right, I'll look past it. I don't oh, want okay. you making content with Sam Hyde, but it seems like that's a real deal breaker for you. So I guess I'll look past it. It's Ian's video. It's going to have an Ian slant to it. Fair. I'll, one, I'll recognize that. If Proggy puts out a video, I'll watch that on stream too, just to be fair. Also, I was reading the DMs though. Like, what, what, you know what I mean? Like, it came to the point where I was like, can you postpone releasing content with Sam Hyde? Look, you know me and Sam don't get along. You know, I'm, we put a lot of time and energy in this creator cr clash thing. I don't want it to be. Wait, Keemstar doesn't like Sam? Bro, that's how you know. About Sam Hyde. So just don't let it hurt the event. All right. Go train with him. Have fun. But don't let it hurt the event. Don't make it about Sam Hyde. That's what I would have said to you if I was I dubbed. Right. Oh. And guess what? Like I would I'd even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. If you don't know who Sam Hyde is, he's whether or not you love him or hate him, you have to recognize him as uh he's the most talented comedian alive. <laughs> Bro, he's so tiny. Bro, what you the have fuck? to recognize him as uh he's the Ah, bro, I've seen this is literally a scene from Lord of the Rings where Mary and Pippin are playing around with Aragorn. <laughs> most talented comedian alive. He's the most talented comedian of our generation. He's gonna probably. Okay. Sam Hyde's name on Twitter is Wigger. And this is what I mean. <laughs> it was Boromir. Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> it's just like. Like, it's, it's okay. Someone sub summed up my feelings perfectly in chat. Jesus Christ, and then a Keck W. I, that, is ex that is pretty much my feelings entirely. Jesus Christ. Um, probably be the greatest comedian of all time. He's insanely, he's a genius. Um, I okay, got so it. he posted all the shit despite being told to wait. A chance to go out there and train with him. He welcomed me into his environment. He paid people to train me. I would, I'd even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. Didn't you tell them that? I thought you no, told them no, that. Ian, you were... Ian, no, Ian requested it through text. He requested that okay. I did that. 
what I didn't like. I didn't like that he requested that because that's not. I don't think that's appropriate. I was like, he didn't think it was appropriate. I do not think that that is appropriate. Do you think it's appropriate that uh, I don't know, thirty-something-year-old man is publicly calling my wife a whore and a slut? I think initially you can just buy the. You can buy that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Ian's coming from this at the wrong angle because I think this is why the incel are like. I don't want to call them incels. I think this is why the people who are calling Ian a cuck are feeling empowered. I think this is the weakest point he has. I don't think vilifying Sam Hyde is the angle to go at here. Not that I disagree. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I think the angle Ian could go here, and I think it's a slam dunk angle, is I'm the event organizer. I don't want you training with this person. If you want to be in my event, you play by my rules. I really think that's the dead done deal. And until you do, if you have a problem with that, then you go put on an event. You go take all the risk, deal with all the promotions, deal with all the sponsors, deal with everything. That's the only angle he needs here. Now, granted, I'm not going to defend or even, I don't want to get even involved in the conversation of Sam Hyde making fun of Ian's wife. I, I, I think that that's the conversation that causes this comment section here to look like a goddamn war zone. Um, I think it's also, it's a point that doesn't need to be, it's like, he's, he's trying to, Ian is trying to justify why he hates Sam Hyde when I don't think he even needs to. I think he's the event organizer. If I've communicated to you, you're someone in the event, I don't want you working with somebody, okay, and you did it on your own, then that's it. Done. I'm just giving my opinion, yo. I'm just giving my opinion, okay? I'm just giving my opinion. And this has got a separate Etsy page where she sells her pussy. Yoko Ono was too concussed to fight in Creator Clash for the second year in a row. Life is so easy for uh, a certain gender. All you have to do is say that my uterus hurts. What'd she say this time? Her uterus hurts? Her I uterus fell she out? had another concussion. Probably your uterus fell out from getting blown out so much by uh, toys. Oh my God, Is that appropriate, bro. Froggy? Do you think that's appropriate? It's just so absurd. Okay, you don't think it's appropriate that I, I set boundaries. I don't think it's appropriate that you are hanging out with a guy who doesn't think women are people. Like, I don't think that's appropriate. I was like, I don't think you should be telling me when or when or when I can't release. By the way, I'm not, I'm not laughing a lot. It's just, it's just like the, it's the most absurd shit you could possibly like, this say. This is my career. It's what I do for but a living. But you complied with it, right? But, but I was going to anyways, but I didn't like mm. people telling me that. I thought that was out of line. Again, I'm I don't on know team why he's here. saying that he was planning on waiting to post Sam Hyde content. We have the Twitter timeline of him nonstop posting Sam Hyde content. It's fucking weird. I don't know if he thought it was like a loophole to post on Twitter about Sam Hyde. So I think in his head, he was like, I, I was gonna wait to post Sam Hyde content. Parentheses, YouTube video. Like, cause like, it's not my problem that you have personal, that you have personal beef with- Okay, but, but Froggy, it is your problem. You're in his event. Like, I, I, why is nobody saying this? I wanna shake everyone. I even wanna shake Ian. It is his problem. It's his event. Like, I, dude, I've thrown events too. And yes, I have rules. Yes, if that makes me whatever, if you want to then go and debate, you know, if you want to have a conversation about, uh, well, maybe you're, you're a pussy. Okay, then I'm a pussy, but it's my event. Okay, and guess what? I sold out the arena so I can do whatever the fuck I want. That's crazy. The greatest comedian in the world. If I go to Providence. How am I the simp? How am I the simp? I want to know. responded on Twitter. Is it because it's a woman? It's because it's a woman, isn't Froggy it? Froggy responded on Twitter three hours ago. Okay, well, we, we should get through this first, and then we'll look at that. I'm in deep, guys. I didn't even think I'd be this interested, but I'm so in deep. I'm in deep. I'm sorry. If you're not in deep, let, let it consume you. <laughs> it's okay to simp for a big, gross dude. It's okay. It's understandable. He's big and he's gross. As, as soon as you simp for someone who's uh, literally your partner, your life partner, that's too much. That's kind of gay. If I go to Providence, Rhode Island and get an opportunity to, when I, to work with him, that should be my option to when I release that content. And it's got nothing to do with you. Not everything that people do with Sam Hyde involves iDubs. And I think that he <sighs> misinterprets that. We're not talking about people. We're talking about what you do with Sam Hyde because Agreed, you're in my you're in event. event. Yes. Okay. Ian did say it. That's it. I mean, that's, there you go. That's it. That's the end of this video. I wish there were many layers of separation so I really could be that disconnected. Unfortunately, I have to be around you. You have to fight at my event. Uh, I have to share the same uh, space as you, it's you know, true. in the parties, at the event true. itself. And I don't want to do that. I have no interest in sharing that space with you. 
So for, for him to tell me, hey, could you wait until after the event to release that? In my mind, I'm thinking, I mean, I could, but it's weird for you to tell me to do that because it's got nothing to do with you. Another thing that contributed... I don't think it's weird. Uh, I just don't think it's to weird. ...to Froggy getting kicked was that he tweeted at Nathan Barnett, a.k.a. Dad. He said, dude, I tried hyping you up at Denny's when we ate dinner, and they said they weren't fucking with you and that you were going to lose to A.B. They don't even like you. This is one of those things where it was like, oh, okay, so you basically don't have any good intentions here. You are just like, uh, you, don't li you don't like us. Like, I'm not here to play with people and give them warnings. Like, we're all adults on the card. I'm not going to give you a warning. Actually, no, I will give you a warning if you, I think you have good intentions. The problem is when you tweet shit out like this, and you have the text message exchange that Froggy had with me, I don't think you have good intentions. You're like trying to like ruin a relationship between me and one of my friends. Froggy deleted that tweet and- That's probably why it was a screenshot of a lock screenshot. I don't think he deleted it because he felt differently. I think he deleted it because- that was, uh, Okay, that was after he got banned from the event. It's important. It's important to rem figure out which you know, at what time it was said. He knew that it could potentially get him kicked from the event and uh, would also make him look like an asshole. But he basically reiterated that same thing in a Twitter space. When I was at fucking Denny. I was in all of these Twitter spaces, by the way. Boys, put it in chat if you know. If you know, you know. Put it in chat right now if you were there. I was all like telling them, yo, dad's a fucking savage. And they're all like, no, nah, no. Nah. Dad doesn't dad doesn't spar with high level fucking competition he's gonna lose to ab and i'm thinking these wait motherfuckers are so like, who said up. that who said that ian and anisa like that's the way these motherfuckers are and then they got dad like riding for them they don't even and it's like okay, i wouldn't I be like saying. this but if everybody's gonna keep it's all really irrelevant the froggy is saying that uh uh ian and anisa are, are two-faced um okay maybe they are what does that have to do with anything i don't know um I, I'm not saying that I'm not defending that. I'm just saying, okay, but if I'm trying to figure out if you should have been banned or not, this isn't really relevant to me. Calling me out like I'm the fucking person that's fucking fucking shit up. Like that dad's out here riding for them. They're all like, they don't even fucking give a fuck about him. And in the same Twitter space where Froggy says this, Sam Hyde, Froggy's hero, calls Nathan a rapist. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was there for this. <laughs> Bro, Sam Hyde is so unhinged. Dude, this shit is... Now, again, I'm going to explain this. Sam Hyde is joking here, right? But this is what my point is about Sam Hyde, right? It's just like, here's the line. Hey, whoa, 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 Sam, come back. What are you doing? I'm going to play this now. This shit is insane. Several times. That Nathan Barnett guy, I guarantee you that guy would rape somebody if he had, no, if he had the opportunity. Yeah, and legally, he would rape somebody in Minecraft, by the way. In, in Minecraft. Minecraft, yes. yes. <laughs> he he if he had the chance to rape a woman he would in minecraft in minecraft. no not in no not in minecraft team i don't want any I, everyone in the call is trying to def like sam you mean like like jokingly right no no listen to me this is real life where dad would do that it's just like oh my god what to do saying? with sam i don't want anything to do with people that think what sam is doing is okay it is not okay Here's part of the Twitter space where Harley is uh, sort of questioning Tyler with why he wouldn't, uh, you know, respond to Anissa. And I think that's a the very joke. valid that's the point I'm making. It. It's, it's, it's you so ask far... any of our fighters and it's like, yeah, Anissa was the one who, like, solves problems. She is more communicative than me. And she, she's better at communicating than I am. I fucking suck at this shit. Uh, so Anissa is the one. She is the one to talk to. How was I even supposed to know Ian and Anissa were mad when I get one call from Justin Tracy, then a text message, I respond to it immediately, say, could you communicate through text or email? I'm training. And then nothing else. I don't, I What's didn't, the last I, text I, you I still don't know. Me and, and What's said. the last text you sent to Anissa? I, it was probably some group yeah, message from okay. three months, last text four months you ago. said to Anissa, just you two? I don't have one direct text from Anissa. Anissa's I never texted you. With with an, and my wife and Anissa, there's a group oh, chat. I do not have any direct oh, I'm so sorry. Contact. Okay. Did anyone ever text you and your wife? What was the last thing Anissa sent you and your wife to you and your wife's phone? You keep saying there's so many incels in chat. I'm not even seeing, what are you guys talking about? I'm not even seeing people. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I, I, I mean this like wholeheartedly. I genuinely want to know 
what the defense is. And I mean this because I would like to be convinced otherwise. Okay. And anyone wants to get on a call, I'm, I'm serious. I'll bring you on the stream. All right. Hassan fans in chat? We're, dude, that's allies. What do you mean? We're fine with them. Um, anyone wants to explain to me? Here's my opinion. And this is what, this is my fullest of my opinion. If the event organizer wants to ban you because you're hanging out with somebody that the event organizer doesn't want you to hang out with, that is their right. I'm not saying that I agree or disagree with the person that items has a problem with. I'm saying when you organize an event, you can tell anyone at any point who they can and can't hang out with. That is your right because you're organizing the event. Can somebody please, I'm seeing people say there's so many incels in chat. Can somebody please tell me if you disagree, why? I do not understand. I don't, I really, I'm not, I'm not saying it is an annoying or difficult or frustrating or Ian, I'm not going to, maybe Ian needs to get over the jokes, right? That's what you might say. I'm not in that conversation. I'm not, I'm not engaging that conversation. That's not my conversation to have. Okay. What I'm saying is event organizer doesn't want you to hang out with somebody for his event. He gives his reasons. That's his right. There you go. Uh, nah, they're not going to get on a discord call with you. They're scared. Who, who though? I don't even see these people in my chat. Uh, yes, but anytime it needs to be at the beginning. Yes, but not at any time it needs to be at the beginning. I don't even agree. No, I don't even agree with that. If it's your event, you can do whatever the fuck you want, bro. I don't even agree with that. I'm, not, I'm also not saying that you can't continue the conversation. I'm not saying you can't then go discuss why iDubs doesn't want Sam Hyde there. You guys can go have that conversation. That's fine. If you want to criticize Ian for his relationship with Sam Hyde, if you want to criticize Sam Hyde for his relationship with Ian, go for it, right? But yeah, you signed the contract. That means you listen to the event organizers, and that's that. I'm not saying that this makes anyone free of criticism, though. Don't you call me? What? What was the last thing? Tense moments in the Twitter space as Froggy goes to see. It's, hey, Tyler, I'm not with Ian. I'm home visiting family. Ian called me not feeling great, and I'm just trying to understand what's happening or how I can okay. What's the date? Sunday, March 12th. You don't, want to, you don't want to respond to that? I agree with Harley. No, because oh, you don't know the oh, context so of that. You, you don't have the context. Harley, let me give you the context. Harley, let me give you the context. Her Twitter account instead of responding to that very serious and Harley, sympathetic text you, I, that was nowhere near threatening or aggressive. I agree with Harley Froggy on this wasn't one. able to give context for why he didn't respond to Anissa's call and text message uh, in the Twitter space. Uh, Harley ended up leaving. The conversation went elsewhere. So he uploaded a Twitter video to explain the context okay. of why he didn't respond to any. Also, me, me listening to this and, and taking a side, I'm not trying to get rid of Froggy Fresh's voice. If Froggy has responded to this, that changes the entire narrative. I'm here to hear it. I'm more than happy to hear both sides. So please, guys, I'm not, even though I'm leaning Ian after watching this, uh, I'm more than happy to hear what Froggy would have to say about this. Yo, if this reaches Froggy, more than happy to hear what you have to say about it. Yeah. Anissa's last text. Okay. Which was checking on me. Anissa's concern text of hope everything's going okay was a way for her to try to manipulate the situation to try to do further investigation into my friendship with Sam Hyde. That was not an are you okay text. That was a Ian is not able to break your shell. Maybe a vague concerned manipulative text from me will be able to. He thinks this text message is manipulation. No, Froggy, we wanted to solve the problem. Let me just say, Anissa... I mean, guys, come on. I feel like the text speaks for itself. It doesn't seem like manipulation to me, bro. I don't know. I feel, that's just so... It just seems so off, dude. It's just trying to exist. You know, she doesn't want anything to do with the drama. She doesn't want anything to do with this shit. And I have brought a lot of it into her life. And I take responsibility for that. But unfortunately, a lot of people who uh, think that I've changed or call me a cuck or whatever, they, they've decided, in, instead of saying that I've changed and that I'm the, the decider of my future, it's that Anissa has changed me. So she has been the target of a lot of hate and I think it's really shitty 
And hearing Tyler talk about her in this way is just a reminder where it's like, Anissa is trying to manipulate you. What the fuck was I doing? Was I trying to manipulate you as well? Like, you should probably come out and say that uh, because it, it seems really fucking sexist and, and creepy for you to be saying these things. You know what I feel? I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't see the sexism angle there, but I do agree that I don't see any manipulation at all. I think I don't know. I think Froggy Fresh is kind of having a dumbass take here. Um I personally believe the whole taking drama to a public space should be below content creators. Dude, I agree wholeheartedly. I agree wholeheartedly. And I think that's where my major criticism of Ian comes in this is I think the I think the ban of Froggy was handled poorly. Not that he couldn't ban him. I think that just the ban was handled poorly. If I were in Ian's shoes, I would have put out a tweet that's like, hey, Fro I, I, like, I, it just it was so vague and confusing, and I was just an onlooker. I didn't know any of the details, and when I read it, I went, what? Why? What's happening? This is crazy. Um, I think it just should have been handled better. And I really, I really didn't buy none of this at the beginning until I, like, until I was living in it. I kept always hearing people saying, like, Anissa ruined items. Anissa ruined items, and I was always like, nah, whatever. Like they can work out their problems. It's definitely sexist. And I was never right. buying into that. I'm not going to try to look into this man's soul. <laughs> you know, I'm just I view him as kind of a bumbling idiot here. But I swear to God, when like once you live an event, it's like okay. I think Ian met the wrong person. I honestly think it's just like I think sometimes you bond with the wrong person. It can take you to make the wrong decisions. Maybe when I met my wife, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I met my wife. I got better the more time I spent with her because she, like, was honestly a better person than me. But I feel like, dude, honestly, it seemed like so when Ian, is, as soon as he starts messing with Anissa, it's like, Ian goes from the person who would be dogging people, who would sue people, to then, like, his event that he's running is suing people. It's like a complete flip. By the way, we weren't suing Froggy. Uh, we have no interest in going to court over $15,000. Uh, we wanted that $15,000 back, but you know, he wasn't giving it to us. So we, we have to leave it at that. You know, we're not suing him. Froggy, if you're let back on, it's not like you're going to make an... Is that Blow bl 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 Block, Bloby or whatever his name is? <laughs> Bro, you need him, did him so dirty with this photo. That's so mean. Froggy stole 15K from Ian. Okay. I'm sorry. I got to call Spade a Spear. I do not think Froggy Fresh stole 15K. Um, I don't think that's what happened. I, I, in fact, I, I would say that if I was Ian, I wouldn't have even asked for that 15K back. Okay, now keep in mind, I've given you my full opinion on this, but I do think that at the end of the day, that 15K is, a, is a, the cost of the cut, right? So that's just, that's what I get. Didn't Ian give him the 15K for training? That's what I believe. Unless I'm missing something, I think that, uh, you know, you cut your fighter that close to the event, you, if the 15K is a cost, you just eat. You just eat it. Uh, now, granted, someone just said it depends on the contract. Amen to that right there. That's what it all comes down to. I was just about to say, it all depends. Sunken cost, yeah. It all depends on the contract. That's where it really matters. But uh, ultimately, just for optics, because we're fucking content creators, I think I would have just eaten the cost, even if it was in the contract. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to take them to court? Another OnlyFans joke about Denisa, right? Like, No, I mean, like, if they, if they make me sign a contract that I can't, then I won't. You know, I, I find it so strange, because it's like, you know, that was a joke. That was a joke. Obviously, I wouldn't do anything more. Only and to, and to, I don't think Froggy respects sex workers. I think he has some really old, tired opinions about people who do sex work. I think he has uh, a lot of weird opinions as well about masculinity and shit. Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. A lot of it's not explicitly said, but when you listen to the jokes, it's like, oh, that that's actually just your opinion phrased in a comedic way there was some type of nerd fight last year and chris reagan and all these people it's like some big ethot worshiping party at these things and i don't get it i don't get what all this shit is all about but everybody's there to worship ethos or fucking ethot or get or like touching ethos titty or pussy or, <laughs> it's always that and it's just like what happens if people get all excited about it I think bro i was there i went to the vip shit I, I went to everything I went to the fucking charlie's party i was at the food dude i didn't touch a single e pussy bro let me be let me not mince a single motherfucking word here i've been to two creator clashes and both times i was treated very well vip'd out the ass everything 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 i didn't get a single titty bro listen uh, i didn't get nothing no e pussy at all 
What you, uh, I think we went to the wrong event. I know! What was happening? Prove it? How do I... How... Chris Reagan was like... He probably thought he was gonna go there and beat some fucking nerd up, and be, and he was gonna win. Like I don't know if they're giving. I think they give away like OnlyFans with girls there at these <laughs> events. I don't know what kind of sponsorships. Like if you win certain fights, I think you get to own some of these girls for some of the nights. <laughs> like, awesome. I don't know how it works, but I think Chris was like, like he had plans to go beat up a nerd and like, and like whatever, however, whatever they get to like lease one of these girls. And um, so like, he got there. Well, Ian was probably thinking like, because I think I think, um, man, I need to just stop all, all this probably. No, Froggy, keep going. <laughs> I think you should keep going. I think the women of the world need to hear your opinions on these things. Talk. He's like, bitches out here should not be driving cars unless like a male member of the household is in the passenger seat. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just or about how. Uh, uh, sex workers are property. That's a funny joke. It was it was super funny the third time that you referred to women as property. That was the f that was the funniest one. Because when you said lease, I was like, yeah, I know what a lease is. You know, I am gonna call Ian out here a little bit with something. Okay, I'm fucking sick and tired of having to travel to America's armpit of Tampa, Florida. How about we host this shit where with human living conditions, Ian? Okay, how about you stop sending all of us, you know, like absolutely pussy content creators who's ne who've never been in the sun. It's, it's, dude, it's so humid there. I step off the plane of the fucking shitty airport there, instantly hit with humidity. I'm like, can we host this anywhere? Dude, I'll even go out on a limb here. I'll, I'll give Texas as a, as a, anywhere but America's armpit. Now, obviously I'm biased. Hello, California, let's go. But God, can we do maybe in like Washington, somewhere nice and cold and cool, but then Charlie can't go? No, Charlie can go. He chooses not to then. Thank you. Vegas. Oh, please. Bro, Vegas would go so hard. Creator Clash 3 in Vegas. Someone said Minnesota. No, that's fucking stupid. But that's okay. Even if you didn't do any of the Sam Hyde stuff, why would we want you at our event? Like, if you're just going to blatantly yeah, agree, disrespect Dwayne. sex workers and women and, and other fighters saying that they're here to, to touch e-thoughts, like... It is so disrespectful and shitty. I don't want to share the space with you. I, I don't want other people to be uncomfortable because you're there. Like, you, you don't get the vibe, all right? The vibe is sex workers and fighting, I guess. And you don't like the sex workers part. I don't think Froggy is doing Sam Hyde's dirty work by, uh, you know, shit-talking Anissa. I think it's just pretty clear that he holds similar opinions to Sam Hyde and similar opinions to Sam Hyde fans, which is like, you're just gonna repeat the shit that, you're, that your hero is saying. You have to ditch Yoko Ono. Drop Yoko Ono, bro. It's gotta be over. <laughs> it's gotta be over. And leave the girl, ditch the girl. I think Ian met the wrong person. I honestly think it's just like, I think sometimes you bond with the wrong person, it can take you to make the wrong decisions. She's probably a succubus that's like sucking the life out of him. Sad to see you didn't make the card again. When will iDubs break free from that succubus that is holding him back? Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. Anissa's concern text of hope everything's going okay was a way for her to try to manipulate the situation. I think initially you can just buy the, you can buy that. Yeah. I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. Man, I can't think of a worse person for this to happen to than Ian because I like the criticism of like Ian was was the most like toxic person on the internet. It does leave him open. Not I'm not saying it's valid. I am saying though I can follow the logic of why people fucking hate him now. Like it's unfortunate and I personally do not hate Ian, you know, I think, you know, he's changed a lot and I can see why people will no longer find him entertaining, but it has put him in an, I, I, I'm, I'm commenting on, I, it has put him in a very unfortunate situation. Um, does he have your chair? Does, uh, Sam Hyde have the same chair I do? Probably because a good fucking chair, bro. Um, <clears throat> they're saying she ruined him because he doesn't say the N word anymore. Uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, listen, as a Nazi myself, you know, it's tough. It's, uh, it goes oh. directly into charity. Yeah. Her anal bead package came out and it's, it was a hundred dollars for to look at pictures of her with anal beads. I think they give away like only fans with girls there. Like you get to own some of these girls. They get to like lease one of these girls. So Ian really embarrassed himself. 
And so he didn't want Sam at his event because Ian doesn't want people who are bigger and more talented than him upstaging him. That's what it is. Tyler is like repeating all of these narratives about how uh, I've changed for the worst. Uh, the person responsible for my, uh, my change in a bad way is Anissa. Anissa is a, a manipulative person. Oh yeah, that I, I'm like concerned about getting upstaged by Sam or people who are more talented than me which is insane to me because I've put on this event twice, me as the, uh, the main fight, and I've lost both times. That's pretty <laughs> upstage. It's time, it's time to hang up the gloves, though, Ian. Like, let's, let's be honest here. Like, all, all of this aside, I think it's time to pack it up, you know? We're going to stick to organizing, you know? <laughs> a side note, uh, Sam Hyde has made it a habit to uh, try to sound like a reasonable person by saying, if Ian and Anissa just asked, I'll, I'll stop harassing them. If you never hit me up and was like, hey, man, I just can you leave me alone? I would just, I'd... Bro, hold on. Okay. There is no way Sam Hyde is making Minecraft content. <laughs> Bro, there is, like, who's your favorite Minecraft streamer? Oh, well, I'm fond of, you know, Tommy, or I'm, I'm fond of the, the Dream. Who's yours? I'm big on Sam Hyde's Minecraft server. <laughs> Fuck it, I would stop talking about him. Whatever, I don't care that much. If you yeah. ask me to stop, I'll stop. Like, uh, which, on its face, is already an insane thing to say. Of course, no one wants to be harassed. If they let Froggy back on the card, I'll shut. I won't. I won't tweet at Ian or uh, Anissa ever again. I'll fucking. I'll shut up forever. How about that? Okay. I get to bring back someone on the card who doesn't respect me, my wife, other fighters, and in return I have the chance of not being harassed by Sam Hyde? Oh man, how can I refuse that? Just so we're on the same page in case I have to make a future video, you heard what Sam Hyde said. If he's a respectable guy, he's not going to continue to harass me because he says, by his own admission, he doesn't care that much. I don't care that much. This is my request. I would like you to not harass me or my wife or uh, anyone that we're friends with. Also, harassment encompasses all the little loopholes, all right? You can't just then like refer to me as a goblin and be like, I didn't say his name. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about a goblin. Uh, that's, yeah. not, that's not acceptable. Ah, this is tough, man. We're so deep in the weeds now. This is, I know, why'd he bring me up? We're so deep in the weeds now, right? Like, <clears throat> Ian, I, I know you didn't just ask Sam Hyde to not harass you. <laughs> like, this is just, like, we're so deep in this shit now. Like, is this even about the career clash? It's just like a beef between these two people. Ah, oh, boy. Another thing I want to make clear is that the decision to kick Froggy from the card isn't just for, like, me and Anissa's comfort. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't want anything to do with Sam Hyde who are fighting on our card. There are a lot of people who are our fans who want nothing to do with Sam Hyde. So we're trying to protect them. We're trying to protect the environment that we're in, and we want it to be comfortable for everyone. I truly believe if we had Froggy participate through the rest of the event, it would have made the event worse, like noticeably worse because we are all trying to work together to make the show as good as possible. And I think if Froggy doesn't fuck with what we got going on, he was gonna make it difficult. One way or another, it was gonna be difficult. Bro, this, your chat is right on this one. Sam versus uh, Ian for Creator Clash 3 would probably sell out like four arenas worth. He could charge 10X for the VIP section and I'd buy all of them. Dude, straight up, Ian versus Sam, Creator Clash 3. Also, Ian would get killed. <laughs> Sam is a humongous motherfucker. He's like 6'4", and I mean, he's huge. But that'd be hype. Huh? Maybe do like a chess boxing thing too, like the whole thing, huh? In closing, uh, I want to say that Creator Clash is probably the single best thing that I've ever done in my life. Uh, it has, you know, brought so much joy to me and Anissa. It has brought the most awesome people that I've ever met. It's brought them into my life, and I'm super grateful, and I want to keep doing it, and this event means so much to me, and I'm going to protect it, and I'm going to protect the fighters and the people involved in the event, and, uh, you know, I'm not, when it comes to people, 
wanting to fuck around and uh, mess with the vibes, uh, I'm not going to tolerate it. You know, you're going to get kicked from the card if you're being a piece of shit and uh, if you're not communicating and if you're not cooperating. And uh, I want nothing new with Sam Hyde as well. So uh, fuck that guy. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I paid money. I'm on the floor seats. And I see like some shenanigans going down. I take a photo of it. It's just people holding up a sign. It said Froggy did nothing wrong. Like S Seemingly innocuous. Yeah, right, right, right. I go to this like after event and Anissa comes up to me. She comes up and says, that tweet was really not cool. And I just apologized. I felt kind of like a bitch. I was like, why the fuck did I apologize? Masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. <laughs> well, chat, we made it through the whole video. How are we feeling? How are we feeling, chat? That was uh, interesting, interesting. I can give my, my opinions in summary. Guys, I don't understand where the... Dwayne! Subs, subs, money, money, grow, money, more money, more money, more money. Oh, the froggy fresh response. All right, let's 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 pull that up. Listen, I'm sorry if you guys aren't interested, but your streamer is, so let him have this, okay? This is his day. On Friday, we're doing a cooking stream. It's your day. It's your day on Friday, okay? Friday's your fucking day. Let me have my day. Uh, all right, uh, froggy... Froggy Fresh. I, I, you know, there's still going to be people on the subreddit probably tearing me to shreds. But, like, I don't, I really don't feel like my opinion is that wild. I feel like it's a bit of a Ludwig take, too. I feel like it's kind of a fence rider. But it's because it's how I actually feel. Um, all right, let's just see. The Froggy Fresh has a response. We're going to watch it right now. It's only 44 seconds, boys. You got 44 seconds to spare. But in, in, in uh, Wubby's time, that's probably going to take about six minutes. So that's funny. You got six minutes. Here he is. Hi, Dubs. I saw your video. You put my face on SpongeBob SquarePants. We are off to a huge start. Nine seconds into a 44 second video. He is wasting precious time. Suddenly, I'm, I'm, I'm Team Froggy. This is, I mean, this is huge. You said I wasn't meaning. You said I don't respect sex workers. I'm going to tell you something. I love jerking off to sex workers. Ian, I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> I have masturbated personally. To you have know, you like, ever where's... seen Ricky Martin in Living La Vida Loca? Have you ever seen that man move? <laughs> that man is a sex worker. And I respect that man. So you explain that. I dubs. Son of a bitch. He's, I mean, that's it. Ian, it's, maybe it's, it's time to take down the video, Ian. I think you're cooked, brother. I think that's just that. I, I, I Straight up, I think that kid is cooked. I mean, if that doesn't... Oh, man. If that doesn't, like, immediately put you off to... I mean, that's it, right? I just gave him a platform to dispute because believing someone at face value is cringe. Sorry, it is. You really should hear. And, and that was his other side. He just gave the other take of, hey, bro, here's a meme. Here, are you a 26-minute video? Here's a meme. I don't know, man. That's it. Right? Uh, anybody? Uh, I'm still going to give the opportunity. Here's my final. In, in closing, chat, here's my final opinion on the whole situation. I think it was messy. I think that I'm not going to uh, uh, get into the weeds of if I the question I'm not going to be tackling. Should Ian ban Froggy Fresh because Ian hates Sam Hyde? I'm not going to tackle that question. I do think that people are more than welcome to speculate. I think people are more than welcome to discuss. Is Sam Hyde bad? Is Sam Hyde OK for what he's saying? Are those jokes or are they just cruel harassment? Go ahead. Talk it up. I don't care. I'm not engaging in that conversation. The only conversation I'm going to engage in is the one I'm going to give an opinion on right now. And that opinion is Ian has every right to ban whoever he wants from his event so long as he clearly communicates uh, the reason to um, the fighter that gets banned. 
I think that Ian did communicate more than enough. I saw Ian reaching out to Froggy Fresh. I think that Froggy Fresh was hostile, uh, selfish, and rude. Through the text message, that I'm more than happy to see any more text. If Froggy has a text that changes the whole narrative, I'm more than happy to see it. I think that Froggy handled it poorly. I think that Ian has every right to ban whoever he wants for whatever reason he wants because it's his event. Uh, I do think that Ian could have handled this a little bit better optics-wise. I think going after the money was bad for optics. I think the original statement put out by Creator Clash was bad optics. Um, I think that uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, your event, you can make the rules. If this was me, I would have handled things a little bit differently. But I think that's... I, 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 I look, I'm sorry, guys. I saw the text. I think Froggy's in the wrong based on those texts. Keep in mind, I'm not saying whether or not Sam Hyde and their beef, I'm not commenting that. I'm saying an event organizer communicated to you his feelings, okay? Those feelings were ignored. He tried to level with you. He tried to talk to you like a human. That humanity was ignored. And then he banned you from his event. Is this news? What's, what's the news? What's the story? This just in, person running the show made a decision. Like, what, like, like, uh, you know, when I ban somebody from my chat, I give a reason and that's it. That's the end of it. You guys can go judge me. That's fine. But that, that's it. That's it. Um, all right. I don't know how I could be causing controversy with that. I still see people saying I'm wrong, but like, I don't even really know how I'm wrong. Um, Papa, ha Papa Hansen disagrees. Okay, I'm trying to care. Um, put up a poll. What do you want the poll to say? Like, I don't even know what you guys are asking in the poll. Thank you, Magnus, for the five. Pumper Nickel Spunky, thank you for the five. David R. Kelly, thank you for the ten. Goddamn Jay LeRae with the ten. Yes, dude. You know I hit the right opinion when Jay LeRae is gifted the ten. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you. Um, and thank you, Dwayne, again. Just put iDubs versus Froggy. That would be hype, wouldn't it? What's the poll? I don't even know what the poll. Uh, Reread the last text message. Ian clearly says it's up to Froggy if he wants to fight. I think I, that is part... You know, I will I will leverage some criticism towards Ian. Then I will say, like, like, I think Ian could have been more transparent. But I do think anyone with a pulse should have been able to read between the lines. So, I get... Okay, I will say this. In the case of me not uh, uh, considering someone could be that dense, fine. For the sake of being totally fair, I guess Ian could have been as clear as Crystal. But, like, I, I, maybe I am just too human. But when I saw what Ian said, it's it's right there, guys. He's like, this deeply, deeply hurts me. Um, please don't do this. And then even more so, Froggy was messaged by Anissa and ignored it. Like, what's up? Like, like, listen, right or wrong, hate Sam or not, you're playing with fire when you're being that ridiculous towards the event organizers. It's just odd to me, man. It's just odd. It's just odd. Uh, reading comprehension isn't Froggy's strong suit. Well, he's the baddest of them all. Uh, how do you write contracts? With my fingies? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, not pay money, lubby. Milkman, 2001. Milkman, 2001. Uh, get on a call. Let's go. I'm ready. No, I'm ready. I'm ready to dedicate the rest of the stream to you telling me why this is an L for me. Please. In fact, everybody at the Milkman, 2001, if he wants to hit up uh, uh, Vilified Peanut, we're going to get this man on a call because I need to know why being reasonable makes uh, me take the L here. And please, oh, buddy, please, please pick up the call. Please, my man, I'm not going to hide away from you telling me I'm wrong, but you got to be able to to vocalize the problem. You got to be able to put it to words. All right. And let's see if you can make an argument without using the word cuck, simp, or anything like that, because I'm not engaging in the commentary on is Sam Hyde a bad person? We're not. That's it's it's so easy to win this argument without even mentioning that because it's not relevant to this. See what I'm saying? Well, actually, I mostly agree with you. Yep, that's how these calls always go. Thank you, KBBBaba Baba, for the 24, bro! He's just gonna say a slur and leave? Well, then doesn't that represent, like, isn't that that then? He's already, he's already gone? Bro, he already left the stream? I'm so over the, dude, how many times is this gonna happen, bro? He booked, he's gone? 
<laughs> Ian was the guy running it. He can kick people from it, but I think he should have been straightforward and answer clearly. I can agree with that take. I can agree with that. Don't make someone guess based on what your feelings are. I can agree with that. If you're the businessman, be the businessman. Love you, love you. I can agree with that. Is that fair? That is fence sitting, but I agree with that. Read his message. He said, not an L take. I'm killing myself and no one's going to stop me. I don't care. That's the end. It's nuanced. Yeah, this is a nuanced conversation. And you know what's not nuanced? All caps L incel, all caps L cuck. That's not nuanced. Um... <clears throat> TX Gamer. Thank you, brother. Prison Mike, bro. I love me some Prison Mike. Jump scare. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Much luck, Webby Kiss. All right. Maybe we're not playing a game tonight, but we do have a different game we can play. <laughs> you playing a game? Dude, don't get snappy now. Uh, Is it more gay to kiss a bearded man or suck a dick? Kiss a bearded man. Um, we all know he can ban anyone for any reason, but we're saying that's cringe as fuck. I don't think that's what people are saying, bro. I, I, I think some people are saying that. I think that, um, see, here's, here, I, I gotta stop talking about this. We're talking in circles, but like, dude, here's what I'm saying. If you want to say it's cringe that Ian banned him, okay. But you need to acknowledge that the way Froggy was behaving was also pretty cringe. You have to you, you have to acknowledge it. Froggy was behaving like a child, like straight up. Uh, I'm sorry. If Ian is is uncomfortable to the way Sam Hyde makes him feel, okay, criticize him all you want. That's fine. That's your right. But you need to also be fair, and you need to criticize Froggy. The way he spoke is crazy. It was super immature. Um. All right, all right. I have a choice here. What do I want to do? Happy do we want to do? Do you guys want to do school or prison? <laughs> do we want to do school or prison? I, I this was posted on the subreddit. I kind of want to do it real quick. Let's do school or prison. We'll keep it short. We'll keep it short. We'll keep it short. We'll do school or prison. Um, somebody donated five dollars. Ricky Martin living La Vida Loca. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, this is literally what he was referencing? Oh my god. Hi. I'll be the judge of this. Sex work. I fucking love Shrek, bro. Are you kidding me? This is so good, dude. Oh, he, oh, he's bad. Oh, he's bad, dude. He knows. He knows. He's singing about. Man, I wish I wouldn't have seen him like this. I think this is a bad look for him. He's singing about fucking women. This is a gay man. Am I? This has to be a gay man. And I don't mean that you know, with peace and love. There's no way this is a straight man. Yes, he is a gay man. Is he really gay? Yes, dude. This is a gay. His lips are too shiny, bro. And I'm not. Listen, no judgment here. I'm just saying this is a gay man. It's got to be. He's, he's too beautiful. He looks too good. But I feel like maybe at the time it wouldn't have gone over as well if he was sitting here, you know, grinding on a man. I'm not saying that he shouldn't do that. I'm just saying that, you know, of the time, this music video may not have been too well received if he was getting out of bed with this dude in the background, just this sweaty, jacked man. You know, this only came out five years ago. 
Oh, he only came out five years ago. Uh, yeah, but it's one of those, like, you know, I feel like it was one of those where it's like, hey, guys, I'm gay. And everyone's like, yeah, uh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you want to be, I can be surprised. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Um, Someone posted this on the subreddit. I got to pee. Can I go pee real quick? I can bring you guys with me. <clears throat> Why do people say no, bro? That's so mean. <sighs> okay. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Some really oh, flow, oh, no, no, I'm no, proud no, of you, no, boy. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. I peed on the hat. No. No finale fart. No I green light. I it was wet on my forehead. Oh, oh, god, oh. No, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. No, no. I don't know what to do. Do I just sit in it? Fucking sucks, dude. Maybe you'll actually wash that fucking thing. There's now. no way to do this! You didn't wash your hands and nor flush. I guess I'll just I mean I guess I could just wear it. Just it's put lost, it on, my son. What? Oh no. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. Stop calling me piss boy. Oh god! I would hit my nose. The things I do for stream, you know. The things I do for stream. I was here for Pisshead. All right, somebody posted on the subreddit a new game we're going to try out here called Streamer Prison. Uh, oh. 
Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Peanut the Mod? I thought not. It's not a story the streamer wouldn't tell you. It's a streamer legend. Darth Peanut was a dark mod of the streamer, so powerful and so wise he could use the copy pasta <laughs> I can't to do influence it. the chat to create I can't do life. It. He had such I can a literally smell the, the pasta side that he could even keep the ones he cared about from DY. I can't do it, guys. I literally can smell the piss. I can't. I'm sorry. It was. It's so bad. Uh, thank you, Crimson New Type, for the ten. All right, let's do it. School or prison, huh? School or prison? Take it off. No. No. My guy, just take off the suit. No. 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 Oh, I can really smell it. I need to change. I need to take off the suit. I think I need to change it because I'm wearing a pajama shirt with a lot of holes in it. I, I, I really can smell the pee. No, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not. We're in school or prison. We're in school or prison. Can you please press the button? I've been waiting all night. Yes. All right. School or prison. New stream idea. This guy made it, and there's a website for it too. But this guy thinks he did something important, so we're gonna look through his. All right. You ready? You guys ready? You ready? Are you ready? Guys, stop thinking about the pee. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is a Im we're immediately right. Okay. I thought there'd be any kind of fanfare. I thought there'd be any kind of anything. We're just right into it. There's only 14. There, actually, there's only like seven of these. So this will go quick. Okay. This has got to. Uh, that piss sounded like your kidneys hurt my guy. <laughs> it was blood for about half of it. Uh, I'm going to say a prison. Why would a school have gated? Uh, this is all going to be bait though, isn't it? I'm going to say prison. I'm going to go with my thoughts. Those those stairs are too sharp. That's too steep. That's a hazard to children. There's gated off everything. The, the fucking windows have bars. That's a prison. That's a school. All right. All right. Chat clearly seemed to know that. Let's go to the next one. That's a prison. Got to be a prison. Guys, I'm pissed. That's a prison. How is that a school? Okay. I'm going to... We're not, I'm not yet going to go with um, trying to bait the game here. All right. That looks like <laughs> that is a prison. Yes. Yes, dude. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is look at how it's shaped, bro. There's no nothing on the windows. There's nothing on anything. Prison. Easy. OK, that's a school. I feel like I played basketball there. That's a school. Yeah, called it. That's easy. That's easy. That one was easy. Mm. School. School because you can pull right up to it. See, there's a street. That's a school. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Too neat. Damn. All right. We're not doing great. <clears throat> this whole iDubs drama is insane to me. Like, who cares that iDubs is a, quote, incel? He'd be getting more pussy than me and has a wife and one I want a wife someday with about two to three kids on a big farm with heaps of animals and just retire happy as the sun goes down. Then our kids look after us as we grow old together and die happy. That's why this iDubs drama is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we found the least schizo wubby viewer. Bro, what is this an image of? Didn't ask. Dad, son, is your penis okay? I know when you get up there in age, things don't work right. My red rocket doesn't blast off half the time, but it's okay. Just talk to me, Stushy. <laughs> this is a prison, obviously. Let's go. That lo it looks like solitary confinement. That's why I said that. Also, you really fucked up by compressing this image so much. Easy. Next one. We only got a couple left. Oh, it just says school. It just says school. It just says school. It just says he just ruined it. It just says school. Now, Fuck I want to be. Hold on. Hold on. I want to be clear here, okay? This is, I, I don't think that it's funny or creative or cute that you've put a young man and this photo of him behind bars. This is bait. And not only is this bait, this is racist bait. I'm just going to say it, okay? Because I know you wanted me to say jail. You The joke was you wanted me to say prison, all right? Not okay, not funny. If this was a white guy, would you have thought I would say school? You're racist for doing this, and you fucked it up anyway. All right. Um, that's a prison. You can see the, the white bus. It's to use prison. TTS with mine and my friends' voices, cheer at least 500 bits, then write one of the following names with a colon. All right. Ham, so, Wubby, Peanut, Carlos, mm -hmm. Yeb, mm -hmm. Neptune, mm -hmm. DJ, TT, Wubby, Dad, mm -hmm. Todd. For mm -hmm. example, your whole chat message should be like this. Wubby, I touch children. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so that guy little made that little slideshow, but then he found out in his own comments, he found out there's actually a full blown website for this. So boys, let's do a little bit of this, huh? We'll give it a few minutes. We don't have to do this for very long. Let's do a little bit of it, huh? There's a whole fucking website built around it. Wubby, wait. What? What, TT? What? You gonna say midget again? What? What? Wubby, what? This is a prison, by the way. What, TT? I know everyone's waiting now. What, TT? What? He's just not gonna say anything. If it's just a hallway, look for tape on the floor. Jails will have tape. Ooh, smart. TT said, how do you get one guide by me not completing a sentence? TT, you're not one guy. TT, you're not a, you're, TT, you are like head mod. If you could even say that. Hey, you're it's your Jewish friend, Ham. Did you see that video of the dude on TikTok with the unhealthy obsession with the one female anime character and has literally everything in his home and life plastered with this one bitch's face? No. Jesus, uh, when you drop your kids off there, do they cuff them at the door? <laughs> this is this is a prison. Yes! Oh, it's so clean. This is a school. Ooh. Okay, I need to slow down. Uh okay. This is a this is a this is a school. This is a school. Got it. I took the night off because I had to get away from Wubby and his take. <laughs> he fell for Ian's gaslighting and Froggy is too southern and too stupid to defend himself. They don't want to sue Froggy for the money because they don't want Discovery to go through and show all their texts planning against Froggy for liking the ghost of Kiev. Please don't make fun of my little piss boy's long piss. He was born with two bladders. It isn't his fault. Honestly, my mind is still on John Hamm. Y'all think this iDubbbz <laughs> drama has me distracted? John Hamm has me like, God, I can't piss straight thinking of him. I just as a prison. Oh. Fun fish fact, the kandiru, sometimes known as the penis fish, is a small Amazonian catfish. <laughs> it climbs catfish. up your pee and it gets it's into your penis. It's reported to lodge itself it... in the urethra of people who may be urinating in the water. Yep, yep. Despite the unsettling I have a story about stories that. surrounding this fish, there's skepticism about whether the fish actually attacks humans. You sounded I have a like story you about had that. an entire school of kandiru in you, son. You... <laughs> Wubby, stop being mean to TT. Let him get as much head as he wants as mod. You fucker. Bobby, um, I have a stream idea. You yeah. wear a heart monitor while watching scary videos, and each time it hits a certain number, you do a punishment or take a shot. Okay, I'm gonna mute these for a second. I have a pee fish story. I saw that on Grey's Anatomy when I was a very young child. Someone could do the math and figure out when that show came out. I saw that when I was on Gr when I was on Grey's Anatomy, and and it's and it mortified Grey's Anatomy. Is that her name? I don't know what the fucking show is. I never watched it, but anyway, it scared the fuck out of me. I would not pee can i tell you what i did for years for years i would pee into a toilet and i would pinch my penis to create breaks in the pee so a penis fish wouldn't climb up into my penis so i was i would think like okay if i'm peeing and he's swimming up if i pinch now he'll fall back into the toilet for years i did this guys i have never told that to anyone i have never told that to anyone it's not unhinged, bro. It's childish. <laughs> it's crazy. I only had three UTIs. Didn't ask. All right. This is a prison. Fuck, man. Fuck me. All right. I'm turning the AI TTS back on. This, If this isn't a prison, there's something. Wait, that's a basketball. This has to. Oh, no. There's too much grass. Prisoners don't get grass. Fuck. It's a prison. <laughs> uh, Prison. Hey, you, Stushi. Have you hey, been thinking of you? Are you up? I misses you. I need you here oh. now. Dad, stop. Fun fish fact, you're not my son. You're some kind of imposter. Okay, this is a school. All right, I got it. Sniped it. You guys are being very mean with my dad. Whoa, we got China. Oh, uh, this is a school. Yes, dude, yes. Laney. Uh, uh, I think it's a prison. What do you guys think? That's got to be a prison. Oh my god, no, 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 Dennis no! Dennis had a pretty big piss fetish growing up. Not surprised to see this. You're my little piss boy, though. My little piss, piss, piss boy. Fun Wait, is that fact. it? Penis fish are on the loose in Lego City. Is that it? Are there no more? Wait a minute, there's gotta be more. Was that it? I did so poorly. That was it? That's it? Fun fish fact, if you shoot a fish with the bazooka, it will asterisk, not asterisk, like it. Uh, 
Ah, dude, that's funny. That's funny. Fun fish fact. The first time I watched Finding Nemo, I wanted to clap Dory's cheeks. Those blue scales gonna make me act up, son? All right, uh, I'm on the subreddit. It's so not said, sad. Watch Every video. man should be afraid of stuff going up his pee hole. Thank Let you. me tell you about Sounding Sun, JK, that gives me the Hebrew Jebrews. <laughs> hey, chat. TT here. I'm pretty bored. Why isn't the subreddit a mess? Also, hi, VOD boys. Wubby is currently wearing piss. <laughs> Own a musket for home defense, since that's what the okay, founding I'm, I'm muting. This is the TikTok you told me about. This guy is a joke, by the way. This is a joke. I looked into this guy. I wanted to make a video on him. It's a joke. I believe this dude is satire. I will still show it to you, but I believe this is satire. I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere into a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater, ocean, pool, restaurants, and all of the above. And I may be her most dedicated fan as it's a deep rabbit hole as. Alongside that, I also have an RC car so she can move around with me if I want. All my consoles are covered with her alongside all my game covers, which I- Okay, wait, is this real? <laughs> okay, wait, I thought this was fake. Place. No, I follow no to that. I do not support what that's over what is being said right now. Accounts, that's a no for me. I have over $500 in commissioned artwork, some of us together. I also have medieval chainmail with all the push buttons. <laughs> Bro, this is it. Okay, it has to be satire. I mean, maybe it's a joke, but he did all these things. Yes, but uh, it's funny. Okay, watch. It's funny if it's a joke, but that's where it ends. If it's not a joke, it is video interesting as in go to him interview him talk to him learn about him if it's a joke it ends at it's a joke pins that i've collected of her which goes together with a sword and shield oh which is God, entirely is made absurd. out of her Wait, but most importantly absurd. i've turned my house into a church for Mizuno, and this is what the outside of my house looks like besides advertising the church in the front of my driveway so people have been telling me about this for a while he's in san diego should we go I also have multiple billboards outside also advertising it for people driving by. My house is a legitimate place of worship, though, as when you walk in, you'll see a choir of Sayakas alongside an 18-foot tall mural. Then if you go upstairs, you can see the truly special part, which is the... I thought I understood this. No, you were right, Ham. I was wrong. I smell piss, guys. It's right here. It's just right here. I smell fucking stinky piss. This is crazy. We have to go. The walls and rooms of Saika Maizono, as seen here. And Sam Peanut, I want to go. I want to go. The whole crew's got to go. As far as putting pages on the ceiling. Then when you come upstairs, you'll see the. Home. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. What the fuck? The floor is completely covered with pages and extends all the way to this mini hallway. But the truly special part is... What is this, bro? Well, okay, he's in San Diego. That means I could I could realistically be there in no more than 20 minutes. Literally. We're, we, we, this man shares a city with me. This room right here, which is the most decorated part inside of the house, Nothing is covered and is the pinnacle of the Holy Land. Generally, for the rest of the rooms upstairs, they're all very similar, including my room and the two separate bathrooms <laughs> I have upstairs. If you were wondering how I did this, they were all printed with my 10 photo printers, which are also Sayaka Maizuno. Now, of course, being concerned about Rob- <laughs> okay, that, that, is, that is so funny that he's like, how are these made? My 10 printers, which I also covered. This is crazy is a problem, which is why I also have custom Mizuno boomsticks, which include a revolver, a rifle, an army knife, blessed ammo. That's an M9 bayonet. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What's the float on it? That was vanilla? I just want to have a float. Not bad, though. Not bad. Not bad. Which I all keep for myself, but also have an entire side... <laughs> no militia which i called the waifu warriors in order to guard my house and these how much like the cardboard cutouts are so expensive also the giant monuments that i've built which include a 25 foot tall cutout of her 10 20 foot tall cutouts of her two 30 foot tall cutouts of her and one cutout the size of half a tennis court
Is this like a crypto dude? How is he so wealthy? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm on his channel now. What the fuck? How much money is this? He's got to have like a guy. He's got to have a guy who can get this to him cheaper because this would be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. His dad is rich. We need to talk to this guy. No, no, no. It's, it's settled. We're, we're, we need to talk to this fucking guy. I need to get... Okay. There's no way because it being his dad's money, potentially, is a million times more interesting. I made 40 cutouts of Markiplier. Made 40 cutouts of Markiplier. Guys, I'm like, I'm, I'm, maybe this is his goal, but I'm almost being brought to tears. <laughs> I like want to cry. I, I made a 30. His house is crazy nice, bro. Well, hello everyone. I made every single member of Hollow Live into a life-size cutout. This house is crazy. My God, he made a Ludwig one. I did see that. <laughs> I made a bigger than life size paper model of Hauser Marine. Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's all coming together now. This dude's, uh, this. Okay, I'll, I'll take. I'll give you guys a little spoiler right now. If this isn't a joke, if this guy's for real, like if this guy doesn't see the irony in it, which I think he does. I just want to make it clear. If he doesn't see the irony in this, this is a main Wubby video. This is. This is a go to him, make like a mini doc on him. Um, and I'm not saying like, okay, I, I recognize that there's a, there's a fair possibility he's doing this as like, this is his passion and his hobby, right? But that's, it, 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 that's crazy. That's like wild to me. He's a, he's a crypto millionaire. See, that alone, that story alone is so interesting. Crypto millionaire does this? This is horrifying, dude. Where's the, made the life This has to have a sexual angle to it, right? A lot of people think Mori is my biggest. Look at him. Like, this is like, oh my God. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm getting too real here. Too, I'm getting too sausage made here. But like, I'm so fascinated by this guy. It's immediately not interesting to me if it's, um, alive. If it's a joke. That though. I've done at 30 feet tall. When in reality, I made a 30 feet tall cut out of war. I'm just going to do scroll this guy. <laughs> I made the psycho crew. All right, buddy. I tried making more album covers with more. Whoa. That was pretty sick. A more detailed look at Noel, a paper figurine I made. He talks about if it's a meme or not on Twitter. Can someone give me a link? Pin tweet. I've, I've been to his Twitter, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, okay, well, I do follow him. Why do I do things that make people... Oh, he, well, he has a pen tweet. With Here we go. Let's watch it. I guess I didn't watch this. Here we go. On all my social media accounts, many people are confused with the giant paper art I make, with one question surfacing the most, that being why, or why are you doing this? And therefore, I'm going to explain why I make these massive cutouts alongside Anime Girl, Insane Asylums, and anything else I make. This video is going to be the most candid video I've ever made, as I talk about my philosophy on being yourself and clarify- Oh my god, I love this guy. I love- we got- we should make a video on him, in, like, with peace and love, like, not- not- I want to interview this guy. What I get out of it and my vision is in the future. But first I'll talk about the more obvious point, which is that I find what I make cool. I love this guy! Yes, dude! No, I... I... Oh, I love that he's serious Generally, the type of content I make is the type of content I would want to see if I wasn't myself. Like, the idea of giant anime cutouts existing is so cool to me. I personally like the field of craft I'm in, especially since it's so surreal. Since, like, 
rather than looking at something like a drawing or a painting or even playing a video game and seeing the world it portrays through a screen. With some of the things that I make, it's almost like you are instead in that world and someone grabbed you through the screen and pulled you in. And that part I really enjoy about what I make. Like some of the rooms that I've made look straight up like you're in a game walking through a map with a modded texture. Or it feels like I'm looking at a real life next spot. It's like I'm it's like I'm really there with with massive dream, you know. Uh, so overall that's, that's not dream, that's nightmare. <laughs> oh, like the feeling of surreality I get from what I make. What is that? I got see this is where see this is where my mind's going now. I I want to play this clip for him and show him this and I go, "So what did you feel here?" Like describe this feeling. <laughs> it's all very cool as it's like I have my own little museum and that's really the value that I get out of it and why I do it The second reason is because I'm a content creator. I want to make better things than what I'm doing currently now Some of my creative goals I have bro. This house is Like in s I'm I live in San Diego. This house is fucking crazy I have Currently is to make a cutout that's over a hundred feet standing to create What if I make a documentary, not only on this guy, but helping him achieve that goal? Create giant 30 foot tall paper models just like this, but upscaled. And yes, the giant cutout of Speedwagon that I've been planning for like two years now. So I do what I do because I have ambitions to make cooler things by growing on social media. I bring this up as one of my points because I do think that a lot of people think I'm just doing this for laughs and giggles. And while that is true, my goal also in the future is to have what I make be able to pay for a lot of the bigger projects I want to make in the future. Whether it's more paper stuff or even like a game eventually I want to make years down the line. But I think because of how strange and unhinged the stuff I make looks, <laughs> it's hard to imagine that I have aspirations as I feel people think I'm just mentally deranged and that's all. Which I can't really blame considering if you look at this picture... I do not think this is what a normal sane person's house See what's see now let me explain how my brain's working here. Now I'm so interested in this guy because he has the wherewithal to go, I know this looks crazy, but I love it. I wanna pick his br I wanna know about him now. Like like it's so fascinating to me. It's oh, I love it. Looks like but the third reason is just my philosophy on being yourself. I post the things that I do because I simply want to, and I'm not really afraid to showcase a side of myself which could be seen as embarrassing, as not posting these things would mean people not knowing who I truly am, and doing that is exhausting, being something that you're not, and never letting your creative urges out. As it's just very freeing, as I feel many people are scared of looking weird by being who they really are. And when you do that, your soul suffers as you're not living the way that your heart wants to be. Why I also do my art is because I like genuineness. All the posts that I make in a way can be seen as vulnerable, as it's easy to make fun of what I post. However, showcasing this side of me is also what makes me feel alive as I'm no longer- <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> hiding my true self and therefore can be much more candid with people I meet as chances are they will or already know that I'm a crazy art waifu person and don't have to pretend that I don't do strange things or think what if they think of me differently if they knew when talking to someone and therefore it's good because like it's more of a genuine interaction if they know more of who I truly am I don't have to put up a facade as it's really hard to have a moment feel meaningful if you're being fake is that his Tent basketball court. Bro. Bro, what the fuck? You cannot speaking with your heart and being honest. Now, of course, I wouldn't go to an in and out drive through and say, before you talk to me, it's a requirement that you know the existence of the Hall Live room and what a deranged anime nut job I am, or else this conversation is meaningless. But for the type of people you see more often, I'm the type who likes being open and dislikes small talk when it's not really needed, so it helps in being yourself. So, in summary, I like making what I make just because I can't be anyone else other than me and enjoy what I make because it's cool and have long-term goals to make even cooler things in the future Holy via making stuff currently to be able fuck. to fund my future ideas. But that's pretty much it. Goodbye then. I... Oh my God, chat. I'm so in. I love this guy.
I want to make, I wa oh my god, I want to make a fucking like forty-five minute doc on this guy, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> sanest Hollow Life fan. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I mean, look at this. I love this. I fucking love this. He went to Chuck E. Cheese with her, dude. You know what, dude? I super agree with what's being said. That is that is a, something I agree with. Right there. Yes. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, most recent post on Instagram is a giant Ludwig. I know. I know. I need a strike now. All right, guys. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. I guess his DMs are open. I guess I could just DM him. Poggers! I'm gonna DM him. I'm gonna talk to the boys after stream though and try to like uh uh like what's the word? What am I what word is this escaping me? Devise a good DM. I don't want a giant wubby. I wanna I wanna go to him, follow him up for like a week, or maybe like follow him, maybe maybe like frame it as we're helping him with his biggest project ever. Film that process however long it takes. And then get like an interview with him throughout. Oh my god, this is what I want to do, bro. This is what I want to do. All right, all right. Oh, it's so good, bro. It's so good. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? This is real. This photo is really something. Ham linked a photo. Hold on. It's loading. Hold on. <clears throat> oh yeah. Wait, <laughs> you know what? Fuck this lady though. Fuck her, bro. You need listen. She doesn't. Why are you looking mad, bro? If I was working at Hooters, I'd rather this guy come in than some, you know, drunk asshole trying to get handsy with me. I can tell you one thing about this guy. You know what he's not gonna do? He's not gonna make you uh, feel super uncomfortable, right? This is so wholesome. Why is she looking so mad, bro? Mm. It's weird. What, dude? I will take weird and wholesome over a, uh, socially, uh, you know, better social skills, but extremely you know perverted and and i feel like this is not the worst guy to walk into hooters you know skill issue she's jealous agreed bro agreed there's nothing wholesome about this what do you mean look this woman is fully look at her he didn't come in with some dripping anime pussy him and this girl they're dressed lovely for the for look at the horse at the top right well are you you guys are really autistic man what's going on all right um yeah, I'm not gonna start playing a game now. It's too. It's it. It would go way too late. I don't want to do that. So it's time to open some CS cases, and I'll see you guys on Friday. How's that sound? How does that sound? CS cases cooking stream this Friday, May calendar to be updated this week with all the streams that are gonna be happening this May. Uh, <coughs> new the flavor of uh, gamer subs. My flavor will be released uh, next Friday. Hold on. I got word on if I could tease something. Anything you want to leak is on you. It's your project, how you want to put it out. Don't worry about us, brother. You do you is what he said. All right, what do you guys want? Do you want the name or do you want the, the design? Do you want the name or the design? Name or design? Everyone saying name? I think you already know. You probably already know. I'll give you the design. Uh next wednesday maybe you guys probably already know the name it is called the next new flavor gamer soap's new flavor to be released next friday is called brand risk it is called brand risk the name of the new flavor is called brand risk ladies and gentlemen there it is there you have it Wubby's brand risk. There you go. There it is. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm finna drink that shit. Thank you. All right, hold on. I got to, um, I got to buy some keys and then, uh, yeah, that's that. Sounds yummy. It doesn't give anything away of the flavor. It's just like, a, uh, hold on. It's just like um, the other flavors where none of it is related at all. Can you describe the flavor? No. No, I will not do that. But I will... Um, hold on. The, 
the flavor will be revealed when it's released, so then you can decide if you want to try it or not, obviously. But uh, let's just say this. People have definitely guessed it. I've seen people guess it over the, the weeks that we've been teasing this. But I'm not going to confirm. I want to put it in my mouth and I want to swallow. Sorry. That's good. I don't know if Steam's going to let me buy cases or uh, keys rather because I bought. <laughs> I can't. I can't open cases today. <laughs> Maybe if I. <laughs> Can I. <sh> <laughs> Can I show you guys why I can't buy cases today? <laughs> All right, boys, here's why I can't buy cases today. So I saw a certain sparkles video and I'm like, ah, fuck it. So uh, here's why I can't buy case or any keys today. Here's why I actually can't buy any keys today. Hey, but tomorrow, but tomorrow, but tomorrow, bro, you have a problem. I'm not opening these. These are an investment. I'm not opening these. I'm not opening these. Hold on. Maybe that wasn't clear. I'm not opening these. Why is everyone saying gambling problem? I'm not opening these. You fell for the manipulation. Well, here's the thing, right? Here's the way I look at it, right? Let's say this shit crashes to whatever. Well, then I'm opening all of them. It's either content or it's an investment. And Dwayne gifted 20. How could I be mad, Dwayne? Huge cope. All right, let's open 100. Let's open 100 of them. Let's open 100 of them real quick. We'll keep it quick. We'll keep it quick. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys on Friday. I hope you had fun. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to the game. I kind of got lost in talking to you guys, but it was still fun. Um, see you Friday. Cookie stream. Thank you guys for being here. I had a good time. I hope you had fun. I had fun with you guys. Um, boo, L night. Yep, yep. Every night's an L night when you're watching a Wubby stream. Goodbye. 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 Go check out the subreddit. There's uh, uh, a lot of pornography on there right now. Uh, I'm going to go get out of this piss costume. And I'm going to hit up that guy because I want to make a video on him.